It's time for Mac Break Weekly. This was such a big day. My heart palpitations. A brand new iPhone, brand new Apple Watch, Apple Arcade, Apple TV Plus. It took two doctors to figure it all out. Owen oh, JJ Stone, O oh, Doctors here, along with Doc Rock from Hawaii and Andy Anako. Mac Break Weekly and all the new Apple stuff next. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This is Mac Break Weekly, episode 678, recorded Tuesday, September 10th, 2019. A look inside the iPhone 11. Mac Break Weekly is brought to you by Gazelle, the trusted online marketplace for buying and selling used devices. Get paid for giving new life to used devices. Get an extra $10 on your first trade in a $50 or more at gazelle.com slash twit. And by Epson's EcoTank Printers. Kiss expensive cartridges goodbye at an Epson EcoTank printer to your home or office. EcoTank comes with a ridiculous amount of ink. Just fill and chill. Check out Epson.com slash EcoTankLeo to learn more. And by LastPass, a personal password manager and identity solution for businesses all in one. You only need one master password, and LastPass remembers the rest. Visit LastPass.com slash twit to learn more. It's time for Mac Break Weekly, uh, the uh, the uh, annual iPhone edition Mac Break Weekly. Andy Anako is in the house. Andy actually is in the library as usual. Howdy, Andy. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, in a, in a in a game of Clue, it's always done in the library. In the library with the, with the titanium I, watch. Actually, I do carry a brass candlestick just in case someone <laughs> tries to make trouble. You never know. And we have two doctors on the show, Renee Ritchie and Lori Gill, are, of course, at Apple Park right now looking at the new iPhones. But we thought it'd be fun to have old doctor. I did promise him he would get to rant about the new iPhone. Owen J.J. Stone. It was good you didn't have me on during the live stream. It would have been bad. There would have been no point we had. I appreciate you bringing me on here now. It's nice. I'd have ruined the whole show to cut my mic anyway. No, we thought it'd be better just to have you on afterwards. (laughs) Just uh, prudence. And welcoming back Doc Rock, uh, who is, of course, Doc Rock Tips. He's a great YouTuber. And and it's always good to have two doctors on the show in case I have a heart attack. Doc Rock, welcome. Aloha. Aloha. Where in Hawaii are you, Doc? I'm in Honolulu, uh, roughly. I'm in Kaka'ako, which is now the new swanky city, but it's Ooh. roughly about a mile out of Waikiki. Ooh, nice to have you. B Alpha. Thank you. What is B Alpha? That's your hat. What does that mean? I'm a Sony shooter. Ah, I'm a Sony shooter too. Do you get the? Uh, did you get the Mark IV yet? I'm waiting. I'm waiting too. I'm they ship tomorrow, waiting. day after tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be well, a nice birthday that present. Canon life. Yeah, you're you're a Canon guy, huh? All right. Yeah. And we, and we know Andy's that, an Olympus guy. So we got them all here. We got them all in the house. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize the uh, B Alpha is the Sony Alpha. Yeah. The A7R yes. four comes out 61 megapixels uh, on Thursday. I like to tell people I'm an alpha male. Alpha male. <laughs> I can't wait to get it. I actually, I, tri- I, ha- I had on Photo order Chad. the uh, Leica Q2 which was a ridiculous $5,000 camera when at, when Sony when I found out about the Sony uh, A7 Mark IV for $3,298 I said I'm taking it and then I treated myself to a lens so <laughs> I ended up with the, now, the same and amount now of money don't, and now don't you feel silly because yeah. your next phone will be just as professional it as might any be better. Other video or still camera it might yes. be better we're coming off the uh, Apple iPhone 11 announcement yes it is the iPhone 11, not XI, but 11. And uh, actually, let's start with the iPhone. Apple did not. It was very interesting. Apple started with Arcade Plus, then talked about TV Plus, then talked about the watch. We're an hour in, and I'm thinking, are they going to talk about the iPhone? They did the iPad, finally got to the iPhone. So we'll do it in reverse order. The one thing I thought was very interesting, I'm curious what you all think of that, is it almost seemed like there was just one new iPhone. They spent the big part of the beginning talking about the iPhone 11, which is their replacement for the iPhone 10R, starting at 699. I'm calling it the people's iPhone. 
Yeah, that's a. If there was one motif that ran through in my mind, ran throughout this entire show, it's that willing. Whether they're doing this uh, expl- expressly or not, they're really attacking the point that Apple stuff is only for people who are of a certain uh, have a certain amount of money in their wallet. Uh, almost almost across the entire range of announcements. Yes, they're showing off the a new iPhone 11 that was that was not presented as. Hey, here's a stripped down version. No, here is the ex- here here is the successor to last year's iPhone. But now it really is the same cost as what we would probably think of as a moderately priced uh, flagship phone, now that uh, most uh, flagships are going for at least $100 more than that. Uh, and we'll get into the other stuff later on, but almost every other category, there was a reason to say that, well, we have now we have a really amazing $330 uh, computer. We have uh, we, we have uh, an Apple Watch that is not the latest, but we're dropping prices down to make sure that more people can get access to them who don't necessarily have uh, premium money to spend. So I th- I, I'm very, very pleased that they, dis- that they decided to present the iPhone 11. Again, not as the, oh, we've got a plastic case and we decided to make part of the CPU out of co- some sort of a compressed mulch sort of thing to save money. It's like they're trying to say, no, here's this will compete with the next Pixel phone, with the next uh, Galaxy phone, and it's just as good as everything else and for a really good and, price. And, and to their credit, they're keeping the iPhone 8 and the iPhone XR. And and they and the iPhone eight starts what as low as three hundred fifty nine dollars, which I think means that there is an iPhone for every price point. I think that's. Uh, I think I think four ninety nine. I could be wrong for the iPhone eight. Is it four ninety nine? Let me look here. Let's see. Uh, these are if, the new ones. iPhone eight. So I mean, this actually they're still really, selling. I mean, it, really it looks like the, the six and seven. I mean, I, <laughs> they're yeah. going all the way no, back they, to the exactly. SE. Yeah. Yeah, and it, I think they uh, they really want to take some wind out of like Google sales because the, they came out to uh, Google came out with a a lower priced version of the Pixel that became just a huge seller, probably the best selling Pixel they've ever made. Again, at that same price point, I don't know if that was in Apple's mind as they were trying to figure out pricing, but the ability to have an iPhone eight, which is still a kick butt phone for five hundred bucks, is a really really good development. Yeah, four forty nine for the iPhone eight, five forty nine for the iPhone eight. Plus, five ninety nine for the iPhone ten R, and then of course all the new ones. Owen, are you excited? Do you did you like what you see? What, what part are we talking about? The phone? <laughs> yeah, let's we talk about, let's start with the phone. phone. Okay. I'll let you get excited about something else later. <laughs> so, first of all, why doesn't this phone have an always on display? <laughs> okay. 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 Second of all, why when I'm watching this when this keynote on my phone on YouTube, finally, thank you, Lord. Jimmy Christmas. I can't do a split screen and tweet the trash talk I want to tweet while I'm watching the video. Oh, because I'm on an iPhone. That's why. Oh, but let me just. You got an ultra wide screen camera. Cookies to you. I was throwing cookies at my screen all day. I ate them, so I can't throw some at you right now. But I was throwing cookies. Like, you want cookies for ultra wide? Like, I mean, other than them showing an app that I can film a studio. Uh, uh, interview with 19 different cameras. That was cool. The filmic app. <laughs> because God knows us professionals are all going to... You wait till you go to CES and pull that phone out. I, you better not post nothing that ain't recorded from your <laughs> iPhone 11 Pro. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to see nothing <laughs> no, on I, 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 that actually, ain't recorded on that I'm, phone. I'm already decided that's the phone I'm taking to CES because I can record <laughs> me and the person I'm talking to at the same time. It's the Errol Morris amazing. phone. It's the Errol Morris it's a, phone. That's Filmic. You have to buy a third-party app, which isn't yet available, and we don't know. Filmic, I think, is fairly expensive. These are in-app purchases. But, uh, but, actually, Filmic starts out free, and then it's like uh, $19 for the Pro Pack. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's, Rock, not, it's not bad at all. You, for what it does, it's not bad at all. The, the fact that this phone is fast enough to shoot b- with both the front and the back camera or two of the, f- of the back lenses at the same time with, I guess, saving two separate streams is pretty impressive. I'm guessing that's also because they're using faster memory, faster storage, uh, which other other manufacturers have started to do as well, but they didn't mention that. In fact, there's a lot of specs yeah, that, that went unmentioned. That, that was that was on this. That was one. That was part of the like uh, cloud of features uh, that was on the screen <laughs> at some point, where they were calling uh, pro uh, desktop. There we go. Desktop class storage. Right. Um, so let, let me ask you, Doc Rock. What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Pro uh, for the simple reason that I do shoot a lot of video with the iPhone because it makes great B-roll stuff for my YouTube videos. And I'm shooting right now with a uh, cinema uh, movie, cinema robot. You know, it's kind of like a gimbal. 
And I've been thinking about getting the new Osmo. So it's going to be great to be able to shoot, you know, both directions. Or with the Mevo, which I've used for a long time, you had that 4K that allows you yeah. to switch around. Zoom around, you know, yeah. Like like the old Telecaster days yep. or um, that, that new tech thing that I used Tri-caster. to have on my Amiga yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. Tricaster, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I remember what a Tricaster cost. I used to fix them and set them up. And now I could do that in the phone with a, you know, $200 gimbal. It's kind it's of amazing. amazing. They're going to have to redesign at least a few of these gimbals because a lot of them block the the, the front yeah. facing camera when you're shooting with the back facing that's camera right yeah they're gonna have to do right. it yeah. have to redesign a little bit so I can get both lenses going but I have to say you you make a good point Owen it's not like this is the first phone with three lenses it's not the first phone with ultra wide I've been using the Samsung S10 uh, plus and now the Note 10 plus with three lenses and that was the first thing I noticed is the ultra wide and how much I like it. Um, yeah. But I do have to say, it looked like, and maybe one of you can comment on this, one of the problems with the ultra-wides, uh, it's it's effectively 13 millimeters, of course, is is distortion around the edges, curv- weird curvature. And the images Apple was showing, and we'll have to wait till we get the phones to really check, looked like they'd all been corrected. There wasn't a lot of uh, curvature. It, they, they looked pretty darn good. I think yeah, the chip does it in camera. It must, yeah, as you're going. Yeah, yeah which is great. Yeah, the, according, according to the data that was attached to uh, the, one of the ultra wides, the super wide 12 megapixel image uh, was the uh, 35 millimeter equivalent of a 13 millimeter lens with a 120 millimeter uh, f- field of view. That's amazing. And yeah, I agree. I was, I was looking at the edges and it really did look clean edge to edge. Yeah, that's a hard thing I, to I, do. Again, that camera is the most impressive thing of the day for the phone for me. Like when they go through at 20 minutes of the machine learning and show me a video game play that I've seen for the last <laughs> nine years on an iPhone. Yeah, it's Infinity uh, so Blade. I, I, uh, it, it, it's renamed. Infinity Blade 33. Like yeah. it's literally the same thing. <laughs> I remember last year when they showed me the iPhone Max and they had somebody shooting baskets and the and the the phone was tracking a basketball, counting up baskets. Oh yeah, and doing remember all that? Stuff. I'm like. Where's that app at? Where's that <laughs> yep. technology in use in my phone? Like, I mean, I coach softball, all, all kinds of stuff. I'm like, man, I could actually use something like that. Where? where okay, but you're gonna, but we're still better. We're three, four thousand times the computer learning for what? what well, that was that's my question. If you these, put in machine this, this technology, if you put in machine learning uh, hardware, which Apple was loading up on, and by the way, important to note. First time ever that somebody from the CPU design team was invited up on stage during this flagship event for Apple shows Apple is really all in on its own internal CPU designs. I think that's an important kind of bellwether going forward for desktops as well. But they did spend a long time talking about this machine learning pipeline. And in, I, at least for m- most portable devices, all the machine learning is done off you know, machine, and then the model is put on the the phone. You don't really, but I guess well, Apple but, wants to do more in camera. Is that it? Well, remember that one of Apple's big uh, big highlights is that yes, we're doing machine learning and uh, and and uh, AI, but we're doing as much of it on device as possible. So we have to send as little data off of your phone to a central server as possible. Uh, and we we're still waiting for uh, just uh, just like Owen said, we're we're waiting for a company to say, hey, here is our machine learning app that we have created that does amazing things. It's going to make all this justifiable. But the key with uh, machine but- learning is a huge data set. You learn from a huge data set and then you take the learning the model that you created and you put that on the phone having you're not inputting a huge data set into the phone so i'm, you I'm want to kind pers- of you want to seems- personalize your own results though don't we don't you yeah, wouldn't but, it be great if but if wouldn't you be that doing that based on a model that was trained off phone anyway the, the, for the biggest data the they've got it, yeah. going on is the apple watch they're collecting a lot yeah. of data there, absolutely. They're collecting a lot of data. Even yeah. that research thing that's coming up, I thought was impressive. You know, the research app is going to do wonders. And I, I will be the first to admit, I stand here right now, uh, three days away from 53 years old, grown man, 250 pounds, six foot tall. And when they started that Apple Watch video, bro, tear was pouring out the side. Yeah. Especially, yeah. especially the one where the mom talked about, you know, um, making it to the hospital in time, you know, for her birth because she was having heart problems or whatever. That was amazing. Uh, the little cross country kid, like right when they got to that cross country kid running and saying he uses the music to block people out. You know, the tear was like starting to get all up in the beard. That was really, yeah. really heartfelt. And people like to tease Apple for that kind of stuff, but that's because it doesn't affect you. Right. As a person who has asthma 
And um, I a, lo- a couple years back, I had a stroke, so I watch my heart now. You know, my watch helps me. And I don't like it when people poo-poo that because it doesn't affect you because you happen to be lucky enough not to have had any issues. So I kudos to Apple for that, no matter what any of the naysayers say. Yeah, so they, I'm a naysayer, they, they, and I... <laughs> No, go ahead. Look, Sorry. I, he does. No, we I'm have saying, to mention that Owen actually has no heart, so it's not no, useful I, I for have him. No heart. <laughs> I, I, I have high blood pressure. I have a weak heart. I have to go get tested every six months, so it does affect me. But when my doctor, who is very proactive, tells me that there's not really that much that I should be, I shouldn't be depending on this watch. Basically, is, is what I, I've been told. So. Is it useful to watch my heart rate? Yes. Um, when I've gone into the doctor and I've checked it against things, it's not always accurate, but I mean, at least it's something. Uh, so it, it's better to have than not have, but a lot of devices have it. And as far as the kid running and listening to music, I don't, I, again, I don't have a heart. I'm like, we, we never had iPods before. Like the, the little earbuds from Samsung have four gigabytes of storage. Where I can put music in them and run. I just, you know, again, I, I get marketing, but I, yeah, I'm one of those people that does have a heart. With certain things, but again, better. better it's good. Better mar- look, it's it great marketing, but it is start. just that. You're exactly right. It's just it's a well, a tear jerking, beautiful, yes, a, a movie. Which they're Apple's the best at it. They're Apple's the best, the best at it. They're very good at it. Um, I'm more interested, frankly, in uh, speeds and feeds. I thought it was really what I thought was really interesting was Apple dividing the presentation. They did a presentation for normal people. That's the iPhone 11. The, the base model, the uh, re- replacement for the 10R, and they talked about, you know, all the cool things the iPhone does, all the great pictures. And then there was a very clear line, and now, for those of you who really care about machine learning or pretend to or speeds and feeds, now we're going to get the enthusiast phone. I think this is something Apple has done in the past. Remember Steve Jobs, when he came back to Apple, drew that quadrant. He said, we have too many models. There's really only four kinds of models. There's pro and consumer. There's desktop and mobile. And I think this is Apple kind of going back to that. And I think that's why the pro moniker is really important. There is a, there's a consumer version of the phone. That's the one we're going to sell a lot of. That's the one that is much more affordable. What was it, $699? That's, that's, $699 that's a great starting price. Uh, and and then, but for those of you for whom prices right? for willing to pay three hundred bucks more, for whom price is no object, we look at all the technology we can build in. This is kind of what they've been doing with the Macintosh. It's kind of what they do in the Mac MacBook, and they've what they've done with the iPad. And I think this is a what really is, smart move on their part. Well, yeah, the, what the, it the does thing is it controls. That, sorry, go ahead, Andy. Oh, then Doc Rock. I, I, uh, it's just that the only thing they were able, the, the thing that we've been sort of debating as uh, it looked like they were doing something that they were going to call a pro is what would make a phone into a pro thing. And whereas Samsung has the answer of we're going to give you amazing amounts of storage, we're going to give you expandable storage, we're going to give you the ability to use it as a desktop, we're going to give you a stylus, which are things that will appeal to somebody who not, who feels as though they don't they don't want to be carrying a tablet or a uh, or a notebook around anywhere. The only thing that uh, Apple was able to really say is to hit upon the point of what a wonderful camera this is and what a wonderful videos that these uh, these things shoot and also here's how good the display is which is something that really is only going to affect you if you're using it to shoot video and to take pictures and of course it makes all your apple tv plus content look better but it also looks fine uh, on the cheaper camera i a uh, cheaper uh, cheaper phone i just and uh, the only other thing that was exclusive that they really hit upon was like we discussed uh, improvements to uh uh, to uh, the uh, CPU for machine learning operations, though I don't know if that was exclusive to the iPhone 11 Pro. Really, the, so it's weird to th- think that the only thing they can really say about it is that now you can actually shoot professional level video uh, using this uh, using this new phone. They weren't saying now they weren't saying you know how you often will take uh, take videos of your kids and they come out looking lousy because the phone <laughs> does not understand that these little rats are just jumping up and down into and out of light. We've got with the Pro phone we've got so much power and so much learning and so many cameras that you will always make sure you get great pictures of your kids or your dogs or your vacations. It was all, it was all, we rent, of course, you're going to rent a studio, a a film studio. You're going to hire all these (laughs) actors and all these professional sound, and then you're going to shoot it with a phone. Okay. (laughs) Maybe rent a, rent a red camera. I don't know, but okay, that's fine. Shoot it with your phone. I agree. Doc Rock, I mean, you're, you would qualify as a pro at this point, given what you do for a living. I shoot. 
I shoot in red. Sometimes I shoot in DSLR. Sometimes I shoot in phone. And it's really a matter of the situation of how obtrusive you want the camera to be. And so one of the benefits of having a phone that is qualified enough to basically be almost hidden is sometimes it allows the candid stuff to become candid. Right. When I set up a Sackler V15 and plop a, a red or, you know, a larger format camera or even a large DSLR, by the time you hook up all of the accoutrement it takes to, you know, to make it really good mirrorless, not DSLR. Um, it it now there is a camera, but the phone is really good. And as much as again, in these events, we love the poo poo phones. But every day, if you watch news, they get somebody that manages to get something that's very integral to the story. And the only way they shot it was because they had a phone in their pocket. And Rick Sammons used to say, the most important phone is the one you have in your pocket. So yes, the camera will always be, but the one thing that I want everybody to keep in mind, and I'm gonna channel my Renee, remember every body shape of the iPhone, the third or fourth one is the maximum, the bestest and the greatest of all of that. So we weren't expecting any major change because this is not a retooling year. Next year is a retooling year. So for what it's worth, we got sort of what's always on this, you know, revision of an iPhone from all the way back to 3GS. Aren't we kind of delayed, yeah. though, for the retooling year? Last year was the S model. Normally, yeah. this yeah. would have been the retooling year. Apple's we got a gap because of anniversary. That's right. the, I, and the that, that threw off yeah. the cycle. The 10 yeah. threw off the cycle. <laughs> yeah. I, I have to say... I had to laugh in the video. They're showing the professionals using the iPhone. Okay, I'm going to have to m memorize this. 11 Pro Max to shoot uh, the string quartet. And they've got it on a dolly on a professional tripod. You know, one of those with the, gl you know, the glide liquid heads. And it's kind of mounted this little dinky little phone on that. And it... it it, it needs looked, to be a 17-year-old in, in a stolen shopping cart being used as a dolly. Yeah, it to looked get, a little to, to silly. Basically that, to basically say that if you spend a little bit more money to get like the next uh, a phone a little bit better than what you're going to get as a 17-year-old, you will be able to make the, mo the most wonderful next level Put them uh, on a skateboard. I agree. Put them on a skateboard yeah. and push them. And they barely touched on they barely touched on the stabilization. They talked about it real quick. Yeah. But that's going to be key I, I, too, I, I, isn't it? That's going to be key, no. but you know, coming from like the Osmo and Osmo Pocket, which are great stabilizers, um, it's going to be interesting to see how much in-camera stabilization this thing really can do. I, now, they, Doc they Rock, I have this more. feeling that there is, in, in my head, I I am now starting to see stabilized video, and it's bugging me because it's a little bit of a, it's almost like a jelly-like. You can feel, you can see the stabilization. That's warp stabilization in software after the fact. No, no, I'm seeing it with Osmos too, and I don't like it. Oh, you mean regular? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. I it's don't guilty, like it. Right? You, you I want to, oh, yeah, it's weird. And I almost want to <laughs> say, bring back handheld. I don't think that we're getting, we've <laughs> yeah. got used to it. We can overdo stabilization and be very interested to see Apple do a, so, a light touch stabilization that does yeah, almost the, look. I like the Blair Witch. Blair Witch is much better yeah. than. Watching this through Ima a pint of jello. You know what? You got to make a video, image stabilized Blair Witch Project, and see how less, <laughs> how much less scary that is. You know? I would be more impressed That's seeing a mom watching her kid play soccer or a dad watching his son play a basketball game and show me some back and forth tracking with your phone. But that was my you point. you put it on is, a dolly and you're like, no, like but that's that the point. Like, I, is Apple's yeah. putting this dividing line. Here's the soccer mom phone. And here's the, I don't know, the the videographer. But the, but the stabilization phone. software and the chip yeah. are all the same. That's what I mean about that the was fact interesting. That I the chip is the same. A, and I can't watch a video and split screen and do. You're telling me it's the most powerful chip, two two years out opposed to every other phone. But I can't split screen and run two apps at the same time on my phone. But it's two times more powerful than any phone is out right now. Owen, and I can't do that in my software. Owen, There's certain things that I'm like, what are you doing? We've tested this with real people, and we've found out nobody, nobody does, does it. it. Yeah. I, I don't, I've, 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 I've had it in my, I've had it in my Samsung, except for the people do. I just sat and watched a fi uh, football on Sunday with four guys, had Three phones out and two tablets, and everybody has split screens watching their fantasy teams. So I don't think you live in a real world like I live in a real world, and I see people do it all the no. time. My cousin writes notes on his 
Galaxy Note 9, and he translates all the stuff. Really? That, and he thinks it's the greatest <laughs> gift to the world. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, okay. out here in the real world, and I'm in the real world, everyday regular people, I, I see people that use the Note for business and work and write stupid notes, which, again, I don't really need the pen, but I would just like to do two things on my most powerful phone at one time as opposed to just watching a YouTube video and I can't do anything else. You can I only can recently do two things on your cap, iPad and you have I, a I giant multitask. screen. Yeah. I know, but I don't feel like carrying around a 14-foot yeah. iPad Pro all the time to do things. I've had That's I've had, I've had, had multi-screen on, on all of my Galaxies for years, and I, you know, it seems like a cool feature, but I never think to use it. It's not, well, it's not something that you use every single moment of the day, but it's ju just just like Owen said, when you're in a situation where I would like to keep track of two things at the same time in my hand, like I want to know I want to know where my where where I am on this moving map so I know when to get off this train, but I also want to keep up with tweets. I also want to look at pictures. That's when you're like, you know, I'm glad I have this. Thing. I'm glad oh, I, wait a I, minute. I've studied I wanted that. To I live realize. tweet the event. If I could live tweet the event, that's yeah. one of the perfect uses for Who it. Who tweets I'm on a phone? Video and I could... 90% of Excuse America. <laughs> you, don't, you don't tweet yes. or Facebook. You are not uh, No, and actually, I realize people. why it's not an issue for me because I always have three or four phones with me. <laughs> so there I just go. get my other phone out. If I, I, I want to really really good at switching. I don't, I, I, I got, I, all right, now I've solved you my see, problem. You I solved the problem. Multitask. There problem. we go. Everybody should have one Samsung and one iPhone. It just it makes sense. I do have nine <laughs> phones sitting in front of me too, but that's that's neither here nor there. That's <laughs> well, what's, what's funny though is honestly, I find myself doing the screen swap really fast, and I yeah. I guess because I can't see that having the ability to type full is fine. Like yeah. it doesn't really bother me. It's a single pop pop, and it doesn't hurt anything. Now, however, I. Here's the thing I found out about a lot of the, oh, Apple needs to play catch up. Apple has always been, and I sometimes hate them for it, sometimes love them for them. We're not going to put anything in just because it's possible. We kind of sort of want to make sure it works. And the chat, the times that they've taken the risk and gone for, I'm going to do something without making sure it's fully baked, we have ripped them a new Apple hole. So <laughs> I prefer that they let I everybody agree. else play around with it and I then agree. come back and steal it when it's ready. And because that's the experience 40, that we're using. And as Owen pointed out, we've had three lenses. Huawei did it. Uh, yep. Samsung did it. Three lenses. I think it's a great thing. I do have to say, though, what Always Apple did display. that's really cool is all three lenses on the Pro are hot. They all three are focused. They all three mm -hmm. are color balanced. And if you want to slide your finger and zoom in, it's going to be ready that's to awesome. go. That is pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. But always on display, yeah. I think that's baked. I think like every phone in America outside of Apple has they still always don't. on display. They still don't, do they? And, yeah. it, and they yeah. showed me that they have up to a one nit line of power in the – like just just do it. Just put it in the phone while you're doing it. Yeah, but that's look at I'm the battery saying, like, life. They added uh, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max XDR doohickey, they added yeah. five hours of battery <laughs> life. That's kind of it's nobody's all, doing that these days let's uh, let's yeah. let's make sure that we unpack it over the next week as people try to analyze this because they're they're a little bit saying okay compared to the xs uh it was up to four hours more with a pro max up to five there was another stat that also compared it to i think to a different mo uh, to oh, the i thought they were R, comparing it to the 10s max five hours uh, no they I, said again, five hours more than the t we're, we're gonna have to go to the tape but i my impression yeah, was <laughs> it was five hour more than the 10s max than the existing yeah, well, the, large phone. Yeah, I mean, that I'm saying that uh, it was a little bit. There's a little bit to unpack there before I would remove oh, the yes. quotation marks around it. Oh, yes. it like uh, an hour after the sh uh, show, when they when you want to tell people that oh, it has up to four or five hours more, you would see you, you want to quote exactly what they say and not take responsibility for it. Next week, I'll take responsibility for. Okay, it seems <laughs> as though that is exactly what's going to happen now, but there's seemed to be a little bit of fudge around. Well, let that me one. say that the caveat absolutely is that none of us have even played with this phone because we're not at the Apple Park. And especially with photography, I take everything with a grain of salt because those are their images carefully picked. And we have to yeah. see how it works in the real world. 
And, and, at least, and that's, hey, and that's night what mode? I was getting on about earlier. That I, yeah, I just wish that mode. they invented night mode. <laughs> yeah, but they, but they, 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 skip, they skip pretty quickly over it because they know that they know how good <laughs> the competitors are doing with night mode. And now they're saying, yeah. oh, we have this new mode that. And here's a very very quick one single picture of how well it works. But it we're did go look ahead. good. Let's take let's take another look at that that bionic chip. Uh, but what, what I'm saying <laughs> is that most there are there are plenty of people, particularly journalists, particularly journalists who are. Uh, putting their lives on the line by being citizens of a a government that really, really, really wants them to disappear, that uh, do professional level video and really great storytelling with their phones. However, most of the people who are going to be buying these phones again are going to be wanting to wanting to say that. Remember that time where we took that picture of, of the kid at Disney's castle and someone someone walked like right in the middle of the the, the picture at the exact wrong time and we missed it. Or remember the time where the when the baby fidgeted, so we only got a blur of the baby. They really want to see that uh, they'll spend the extra 300 bucks because here is the video that was shot with another person's camera that it didn't come out well at all. Here's how we managed to fake uh, a much, much better photographer with a much, much better camera with a much, much more well-behaved kid because we've got all this uh, technical know-how in this camera. Yeah. So that's why I'm surprised that they really, really went hard on if you want. And for those of you who are renting a studio and putting a, and, and buying a and renting a dolly rig and are a professional <laughs> cinematographer, that's I mean, how many people in the audience are raising their hands? Oh, wow, that's totally me. Apple finally gets me. No, no I, they're... I think, though, the, I think I want to say it one more time. I think you guys are missing the point that Apple had two, they had two audiences and two different messages for their yeah. iPhone. They had the yeah. regular person, the soccer mom, the Owen JJ, whatever guy. Uh, and then they had the, the, the enthusiast, the Doc Rock, people like me, who are all about speeds and feeds. And, you know, we say, oh, it's got core ML3 and 64 bits and... So I think that 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 w they did a good job of to be, of splitting to be, those two audiences, and so don't conflate the st the messages. There's mm. there's two different audiences. To, to be yeah. clear, one I, I do have a, a Max, and I, I am of the top tier. I'm just talking about regular people. I know, I, I live know, it. I know. But the the difference is, is that again the same chip. So that that in my mind makes it feel the same. The one thing I appreciate that they did was change the branding. It's no longer an XR. It's just going to be 11s going on forward, I hopefully, and then 12s yeah. going on forward. So even people, it, it makes it easier for people to make that decision and choice. What it's really going to come down to is what people can afford. You know, I think this is fifty dollars less than the XR came out last year, right? The XR yep. launched at seven forty nine. So that in itself is a reaction, definitely towards Pixel three A uh, device and how well that's done. And there is a market for that, bringing that price down. But I feel like people are just going to be like, oh. That's a cheaper phone they could afford it or not. Like a lot of my friends, kids, I mean, I, I live in a moderately okay town, but like 17 of her friends all have XRs now because they felt like that was the cheaper phone to buy. The parents got the X or XS and then they got all their kids XRs because, you know, you could buy one, get one free or whatever. That's always the deal they have on that lower tier phone. Well, so it turns out, and that, Apple said this uh, on stage, that it was the best-selling iPhone of the year. Yeah, it the also, 10R was the best phone ever. Yeah, it also yeah. had the best battery life of any iPhone. Uh, and I think that was a signal, frankly, to Apple. I think Apple's response to that signal is good. We're going to we're gonna, Our first thing we're going to talk about on stage is our next generation 10R, which is the iPhone 11. And then we're going to talk about this high-end phone. I think this is smart. I think Apple has found two yeah, different audiences. I think the best part about getting to 11 is I finally don't have to hear people call the 10R the XR. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Owen, as a, oh, I wasn't going to say Mac, anything. I mean, oh, it's OS 10. Whatever. It's OS 10. It's not OS X. I'm glad that, it's Mac OS that, now. I'm slowly that, going away because us people who say Lego without the S, that that stuff bothers yeah, us. Or yeah, the, right. the, the the DVD disc. You're I that guy, huh? Yeah. I don't <laughs> need the That's MCM not my machine. fault. That's Brandon's fault. That's Apple's fault. That's I got to point issue. out, though, That's I Apple's have a Model issue. 10 Tesla, and it's very confusing whether to call it the Model X <laughs> or the Model, Model 10. I've got to, every time yeah, I look just, at I'm, every I, one of us I, I has a say. cognitive load from Apple's decision yeah. to represent the number 10 with an X. And I'm that, sticking to yeah, my Apple, you owe me some cognitive cycles.
Yeah. We, we don't have <laughs> Professor it's, Ten as the leader of the Ten Men. It's that's Professor right, the X, Ten the leader of the X-Men. Right. So it's no, very confusing. My, my, girl, my teen girlfriend still calls me up every once in a while. I got to tell her no. <laughs> I had a high school kid call me on the radio show yesterday saying, would you please help me? All of my friends in high school call it the iPhone XS or the iPhone XR. Would you please help me tell them it's 10? And I said, I, I, I don't, I understand. It looks like it's the iPhone X. Not my fault. That's Brandon's Not fault. fault. Like I said, first thing I said was at least we got on these 11s and 12s. Thank and goodness 13s. they're that using be good. the good old fashioned good. Arabic we numerals. Got numbers. We got numbers the Arabs is... and the Arabs are in charge instead of the Romans. I failed school 14 <laughs> times. They can't expect me to know an X from a 10 and a 10 from an X. That's not my forte. Since when do I have to figure out Roman numerals? You know? Okay, I got I got one question for you, Leo. Yeah. Because I, I think I might have heard you when I was setting up the studio. What's wrong with Midnight Green? It's ugly. Green. Well, you know, you're not oh, alone. No, no. In fact, when you go to uh, Apple's website on the iPhone, what color do they the show first. you? They show you midnight yeah, green. Midnight green. For, I'll and tell you, I'll um, tell you two things. Yes. Money, midnight green, and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm definitely upgrading <laughs> that iPhone 11. The Eagles <laughs> color. Yeah, Micah Sargent five, says he's probably. buying green. Um, I just hey, think hey, a green phone green. is ugly. No, but no, green everybody doesn't love green. Everybody loves green but you. Everybody, uh, but you. So it turns out it, in I fashion, it's, it's, a, it's a color this year. It is the the green year? and the purple. Yeah, yeah, green and purple are still reigning in fashion. So you, you know why somebody in Apple's department knows that. You know why I hate green? Because I'm old, and I remember when avocado was the color of refrigerators, <laughs> ovens. Oh God, <laughs> avocado, yes. and it it and burnt orange, and you know yes. everything uh. comes around again. So that was the '70s. Here we are, forty years later, thirty years later, and it's back. Burnt. That, you that just is true. ruined I my green. That. I'm sorry, it's avocado, it. dude. That's my, ref that's my refrigerator from <laughs> Grandma's house. Exactly. That's why you want it. I hate you. Oh, that, was, that was literally the no, no, entire no, that's, kitchen. That's, that, that, is, that, is the, that is the dark olive green color I've got on the ammo cases that I've got back in the, the garage. Case that is, it's, it's a, it's a very, very forceful color. It's not light. It's, it's, See, at, least it's, at least Apple is breaking apart between, was the, green. between the 11 and the 11 Pro. At least they're breaking apart of now we, we have, we you can have it in gray, a slightly different shade of gray, gray, shiny gray, <laughs> or gold. It's like, okay, thank you for giving us three colors <laughs> yeah. in, the, in, yeah. the, in the depressing uh, post apocalyptic nine. Uh, a 1984 commercial. This is like this is the company that is so terrified of color. It's like this these laptops, these uh, these phones would not be out of place in the same. I'm going to show you. That used to break. I'm going to show else. you Doc Rock's kitchen when he was 12 years old. <laughs> oh, yes, that's, that's my it. grandma's kitchen. That is it. <laughs> oh, mama. Ooh. Oh, I miss you, mama. Dude, the, you got everything. Everything, <laughs> man. A mono yeah. radar range, the predate of yep. micro, uh, microwave was and, a mono radar and range. And they put wood, plastic wood tone on the radar range to make it look classy. And, uh, <laughs> and you're right. You've got those giant stick-on flower wallpaper. And of course, she's wearing a burnt orange pantsuit. That is the yeah. '70s in a nutshell, right? Okay, there. I'm, I'm going to hit Leo real quick. <laughs> Leo, do you remember those stickers in the bathtub so you yes, don't fall? The flowers. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. Welcome so, to the uh, '70s, my friends. Can we talk uh, about the other thing that they that we're not talking about? What's that? Uh, let me hold on. Let me. No, I'm, I'm going to do floor. the phone. I'm going to do the phone. We're going to take a break. Then we'll do the other thing okay, you're not talking about. Okay. okay, I'm trying to keep all right. it all. I'm trying to segment Together. it, trying to give it order, because otherwise... Leo's taking us on a journey. We're, a we're journey. supposed to enjoy the journey. It's a process. But I am glad you mentioned green. That is an interesting choice. They still have black, white, and gold, right? And green. Is is yes. green for the American market? Because remember, gold was really, we thought the Chinese market wanted gold. Um, I never thought about it until Andy mentioned the ammo can, but being <laughs> ex-Army, I think that's another reason is, why I, Army I, I lived a long portion of my life staring at that color religiously every day. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, it doesn't give it much like. uh, much cachet, to be honest with you. No. It looks like it just you're... reminds me of a 76 Gremlin. Yeah. No, uh, no, no. It's, it's, the, it's the same color as Steve McQueen's Mustang in Bullet. Oh, is it really? Was it that oh, green? Oh, yeah. yeah. My college go. roommate now, had a, now, had now a 1970 uh, green, uh, had that sloped back Mustang. Yeah. My, my grandfather color. had an El Torino, El Camino, uh, yeah, excuse me, a Gran yeah. Torino that was that color. 
So uh, those are the decisions that you will have to make. Uh, and uh, uh, as we expected, the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max will be available for pre-order on Friday. Although a new time, just to little make a note of this, uh, not midnight oh, Pacific God. time, but 5 a.m. Pacific time. What do you say? Do you guys want Doc, to translate Rock, that to you'll Hawaii? Be, you'll be, uh, what will that be? That'll be midnight for you. That'll be fine, right? 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. Oh, it's three I hours. Get, I, 2 it used to be 9, and I loved it when it was 9, because it's 9. I still got time to do it. Yep. You know, I got time to yep. go on the Twitter and yell at everybody and say yep. I didn't get it or I got bumped out or whatever. 2 a.m. But 2 a.m.? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. I got to get it at 5 a.m. So it's really, it's Andy who's who's got the, the, the benefit of this, because it's 8 in the morning for you. You'll be all mm, right. I need, so I, so, so I got about a week to do a GoFundMe. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and, and Andy wakes up. At Forget 11. about the sick people. Give me a give me a give me an extreme phone. iPhone for free. Uh, so that'll be. I got, I, uh, go ahead, Owen. I'm getting tweets from regular people. Hey, oh doctor, I run at least two apps okay, on my Samsung right, Galaxy right. Note Eight, Twitter. <laughs> doc, can, I email, oh, doctor, can I just say something, oh doctor? Can I just say something, oh doctor? Regular uh, people don't use Twitter. Period. <laughs> Who's on Twitter then, Leo? A bunch of tech like journalists, you get off a, back, a bunch of celebrities. Normal people don't even know what Twitter is. They use Facebook. They use Instagram. They use Twitter. What are you Hashtag, crazy? Oh man, you don't. You need to. You need to go on Black Twitter. You don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, I do love Twitter, Black Twitter. Though. I do. But that's. See, a, I'm saying regular people a, out here. though. No, we. That's a different stuff. kind of Twitter. That is. Yeah, you're right. There's something going hashtags. on there. Yeah, but I don't think Twitter <laughs> is a mass appeal phenomenon. Uh, <laughs> People be yeah, tweeting. that 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 and talkies, yeah. movies like and that. sounds. Just yeah. people, people, people be tweeting. I like that. People be <laughs> tweeting. People be tweeting. People be tweeting. Um, so I take that not as a solid piece of evidence that people do multi screens. Just people who do Twitter. But I mean, I, someone's watching this show and they tweeted me about it. Well, so I mean, that's normal kind of people don't watch this show either. True. I give that. Yeah, I give that. No, I mean this hey, is a Leo. show for the pros. Yeah. Hey Leo. Hey Karsten Bondi, host. Uh, um, I mean editor. I mean, what what, what are you? What's your title? What would a normal person who who wanted to buy a new iPhone do? <laughs> they would wake up at five a.m. on Friday. What if they already had an iPhone. They can trade it in. Is that where you're going with this? Ah. No, we're going with Ed. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are going with Ed. <laughs> Thank for you, Ed. Owen JJ Stone, <laughs> for always keeping the bottom line in mind. You do get a green iPhone just for that. You get a green iPhone. Love, love you too. Show me the money, he says. All right. If you have an iPhone and you're looking at this, or you have other devices, I bet you anybody watching this show has the drawer. You know, the kind of the gadget drawer where there's all sorts of junk. All sorts of old phones. You just throw them in there. All sorts of stuff. You know, that's cash in that drawer. Cash. Money, if you go to Gazelle, the trusted online marketplace for selling used electronics. Time to thank those items for their service and sell them to Gazelle. You know what's great? Go online, gazelle.com slash twit. You can enter in all the things you have. They, they're buying iPhone 5 through 10s Max. They're buying Galaxy phones. Get all that stuff in there. They'll give you an offer. They'll either confirm the offer, and, uh, and if you accept it, you can always say no, by the way. If they say, well, it's not as good a shape as you thought or whatever, and they lower the offer, you could say no. Oftentimes, my experience has almost always been they give us more money. I, maybe we just underestimate the value of our stuff. But you then accept their offer. They will quickly turn it around. They will send you a check. You can get a PayPal or an Amazon gift card. And they even bump the Amazon gift card a little bit. So if you buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, that's definitely the best way to go. Shipping always free. Payment always fast. All you got to do is go online, answer a few simple questions about the condition, the carrier. You'll get an instant quote. The quote, by the way, good for 30 days. So you may say, well, wait a minute. I'm not going to get that iPhone until the 20th. No problem. You got plenty of time to get the phone, take the data off it, put it on the new device, and then send it to Gazelle. When Gazelle receives your item, if it's in better condition, they'll increase the original offer. If they need to lower the offer, you can have it returned at no risk. You can always accept it in I any quote. They even have custom trade-in options for businesses that 10 or more devices to sell. If you have a fleet of phones, then Gazelle's the place to go. Oh, and by the way, you might wonder what happens to the great stuff that Gazelle has bought. Well, if you're looking to buy a certified pre-owned device, you don't need the latest. Gazelle has an incredible selection of quality pre-owned devices at great prices, even the iPhone XS and XS Max. So don't uh, let those old devices gather in the drawer, especially if you want to 
get some money to buy a new phone, lock in the value of your existing devices, and get an extra $10 on your first trade-in of $50 or more at gazelle.com slash twit. Ten bucks extra at gazelle.com slash twit. Go there right now to get started. We thank Gazelle so much. I love this time of year because that's when the I know it's Apple iPhone time because the Gazelle the Gazelle ads return. It's the return of the Gazelle ads in the fall. Gazelle.com slash twit to get started. In fact, we always make a big box in the, about two weeks. We're going to have a big box to send back to uh, Gazelle as the new stuff comes in. Anything more to say about the iPhone? I'm excited about the camera. Apple has always owned video, right? I mean, you, you can talk about the Pixel 3 and I'm sure... Next month, Google will have a lot to say about the Pixel 4. But Apple's always been the best in video. You agree, Doc Rock? Absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, have, having used them all, it's just something that they, they spend a lot of time worrying about, and they do a good job. Yeah. And quick, real quick before I left, that quick take. I love it. I don't know if they stole that. I don't know if another phone already has it, but I love that idea. That's because you totally use Snapchat. To, <laughs> no, I've been trying to use it. No, I've been trying to shoot a picture. And then my niece, she can't keep still. She starts running, and yeah. I gotta flip it into video mode, and right. then you don't miss those little things. It's so annoying. So, yeah, but yeah. isn't don't doesn't every social uh, app now do that? I mean, you press you you yeah. you're taking a picture, or you press it long, and you get a video. That's just hold it. Yep. Yeah, you just we're, we're yeah. conditioned to do that, and yeah, that's that's Apple doing the right thing again. And not the video is the best. Uh, the you photography agree? I was giving it to the Pixel, but the video they always are on point. Well, and know. they're a little behind, right? They're playing catch up now with with uh, the Pixel and to some degree the Samsung and the Huawei's. Uh, they're playing a little catch up. They just now have Night Sight, and then next month there's going to be a new Pixel, the Pixel Four, and I presume a a Apple will get leapfrogged once again. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what Apple, yeah. uh, what uh, Google does oh, with the video. Yeah. Once again, because they don't have the burden of uh, Pixel being a profession, thought of as a professional camera, they can do features like, "Hey, here is a picture of here is the the very latest iPhone taking a picture uh, in a at a dark pizza party room and having a kid's birthday, and here is a picture of our his, here's our new camera doing that." Right. So that's the sort of features that I hope that Apple. I would hope that Apple would continue to promote and also continue to develop the ones that say they, it's a, it's always about here's a big but white button press the button and don't think about it and you will get a great picture every single time every single situation that's how you win uh, the camera game one and they had to do that because Google nailed it in marketing yep. for once yep. by running that 3A like hey here's yep. a $500 phone yep. taking pictures in the dark <laughs> yep. your other iPhone like they killed it with that commercial yep. and let regular people know like oh what's that what's night sight like I had a lot of people ask like what is that so it it, it you know I'm glad they have it that's all I'm saying I, you know I'm an iPhone user I'm stuck in the ecosystem so I'm glad that I have it on that phone I don't have to carry around my Pixel as much anymore depending on how good it works we'll see one thing Apple has always done that makes their video a little bit better is when you shoot in uh, video you're shooting in HDR in, in in real time and it's noticeably better but you couldn't get it in the past you couldn't get it at 4k 60 frames per second I'm reading between the lines because I didn't mention it on stage but this is in the copy on the web page epic processing power means it can shoot 4k video with extended dynamic range and cinematic video stabilization all at 60 frames per second it sounds it sounds to me like they're saying, yes, we have enough processing power now to do it, OIS and um, and HDR or XDR as they call it in the, at the highest frame rates at 4K, and that also probably has something to do with the high speed um, uh, storage as well. That's yeah. exciting. Also, the, uh, they also are uh, making a point of the color grading on device uh, without yes. having to take it into iMovie or something like that. That's interesting too. Yeah, in fact, they they've built in uh, video editing into the camera app. Yeah, which is mind-boggling. I kind of, I kind of like that. I use LumaFusion a lot, but um, it's really hard to use LumaFusion with sausage fingers. So I didn't have a lot of stake in wanting the pin, but I would have invited it. So normally, what I end up doing with LumaFusion is, is is basics, and then jumping to the iPad to do the finished editing. That is one uh, thing that some thought might come with a pro version of the iPhone is a stylus of some kind. Of course, the Note yeah. 10 has a stylus and. While I never use it, uh, there are a lot of people who really want that. Um, I'm are, with you on Luma Fusion on the phone. I, I tried it too. It's, it, it's, and it, it's touch for the targets quickest things, small. yeah, but it, yeah. it's really small. Yeah. But uh, it's a great app, but it is really small. So I was, yeah. I'm really loving the black and white stuff too. Yeah. Real, real quick. 
because I, I do street photography and the masters I'll say it has to be black and white there have to be people in it you know like it has to be candid not really street portraiture and I think that is something dope about the really really good black and whites now again these are the professional stuff we have to compare it to what we get here with the gigantic bright close to the sun right. Hawaii Hawaii blown out <laughs> skies right like we have harsh lighting conditions. It's beautiful when you get it right, but when right. you don't get it right, I see so many blown out pictures. <laughs> right. Just go check out hashtag Hawaii on IG and go, my God, people learn to tap the screen. I, tap are you the excited? Screen. They showed the high key, uh, new, the high key mono effect that they're going to do oh. here. This really, Gorgeous. I thought, I thought this is going to be fantastic for street uh, or portrait. That guy looks like G. Jerrigan. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Often do people, I can't how often wait do you to see use that. the the other features of that like do you use the blackout like ever no the blackout doesn't oh, yeah. work that well because uh you know there's there's trouble with hair but i'm looking at the hair on this high key oh, leo it works perfect for me really <laughs> i don't have any hair look at that oh, oh no, no i, I, I was gonna it. say wait, the same wait. thing it looks good for me my daughter uses it it looks freaky yeah because for me it always looks looking really cool yeah but they yeah. but well, they don't fantastic no Note, nope. fantastic. Notably, in a lot of these images, they've got hair, uh, you know, a little fine hair. And I loved the detailed image Phil Schiller showed on stage of the close-up and the eyelashes. And I think the detail is really remarkable. It looks like they have put more effort into uh, getting the uh, the the uh, bokeh, bokeh yeah. effects. Uh, Can I talk on. about the most important these, thing about this phone? As, I, as I've been yelling about this phone, you forgot to talk about the most important thing about this oh, phone. Oh, what is that? Come on. The Slofies, brother. Slofies. 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 How do we feel house. about this now? This is a new hashtag that Slofie. That was the best commercial they've ever done. I, and again, you were talking about crying and emotional. I'm being a jerk. I, I fully understand the emotional heartstrings. And I, I do feel those things. I was just being a punk. But that Slofie mom with the with the glamour, and then it pulls back to her kid, because that's real life stuff to me. Like That I know was so funny. About. The mom sitting there funny. with the son in the blow dryer, and then she's just like, oh, you turn it up too high, too high, too high. Like I, that was great. That was great. I'm just, I'm just not looking forward to my Instagram and seeing everybody posting. Oh, I think I'm going to either sneeze or throw up. Either way, I'm going to snow mo selfie. Like, oh no, 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 no. Instagram lives I, on Boomerang are going to be nothing but slofies. You book it. Yes. It's so for like those don't, who don't I, know what a slofie is, and I'm showing it on screen right now, uh, the uh, the selfie cam can also do slow mo now. So you can do those great beauty shots uh, with your, <laughs> which means, I mean, that's just going to ruin Instagram as if it weren't already well, ruined. Slofies also are going to ruin, I'm, I'm sorry to all the females who already get enough of the, uh, let's, what's a good word for it? The uh, D pics. Um, they're going to get slofies now. A slofie D pick? <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's gonna suck. Wait a minute. I don't know why. But I don't understand. People are going to do it. Stop. Are do I it. don't it's understand. Yeah. What? What? No, listen. No eggplant picks in Slofi, guys. And the first NBA starter gets busted for it, he's instantly kicked out the league. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't even know this was a thing. Okay. Hopefully, I just I'm sorry. Several my audio went out there for a second. There, I just I had, to, I had to take my headphones off and just check my audio because I, I got like this buzzing. I just sorry. Hope I didn't miss anything. So I'll tell you that the, uh, the first thing Apple announced on stage this morning was actually the thing that got me so excited. The new yeah. Frogger is here. <laughs> no, <laughs> Arcade Frogs Plus. The rumors six, about Arcade nine, Plus are true. No $4.99 a month. It will be available uh, September, what do they say, 29th? So, no, 20th. Yes. Yep. 20th. 20th. Uh, and it, of course, when you pay that $5, it's for a family of up to six people and for every Apple device you have. Uh, I think this is, is going to be good. Yeah. Five, five bucks. I think that they were they were they had to stay away from the Netflix price. They had to make sure that's not that people are going to change. People are going to compare this to how much they they're going to be spending for Netflix. They're ten or twelve bucks a month. So so long as they keep way way under that, they can sort of make sure make people forget that they are now asking to pay another five bucks a month for the rest of their lives. But that five bucks is a, a lot of people could really justify. Okay, five bucks for lots of cool games that are not probably going to offend or, or scar my children anyway. Okay, I'm all for not scarring or offending my children. 
Uh, September 19th. Let me correct that. The day before you get your new iPhone, the Arcade Plus, you show my screen, will uh, show up. And I actually was very impressed with the variety and quality of the uh, indie stuff. I think that uh, my sense of it was that companies like Konami and Capcom, who have many, many, many developers uh, and who pretty much play in the uh, high-end AAA console arena are welcoming a chance to take some of these engines they have to take some developers and make a simpler game that might uh, really uh, draw yeah. some traffic. I mean, this is somewhere brand, in between. Brand extension to have, yeah. Have, have, have a couple of characters from Red Dead Redemption do just like a exactly. shootout game. Oh, no, wouldn't, no, sorry. It wouldn't be a shootout game. It would be a throw rocks at a, at a tree game, but still. Well, yeah, there was, a, there was a, some sort of. Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I think I will. There's no doubt in my mind I will get this and keep it because... Uh, there's no in-app purchases. You can down yeah. and play, uh, download and play offline. You can play on iPad, any Mac, uh, any device. It's That's cheap, really. And some of the games, they showed three games, uh, looked really good, I thought. Uh, looked really interesting. Frogger looked great. I will say that, yes, I did like, I did like Frogger. You know, yeah. you know where Arcade is going to shine? Where? Arcade is going to shine because it's going to allow what we used to call the back catalog, right? It's yes. going to allow the people that have like like Frogger. Frogger is a perfect concept of the back catalog. It's a way to also bridge the gap between, say, like somebody like myself who grew up on Frogger right. and then my niece who's going to be new to Frogger. Yep. And, and and I can kind of show her things. She'd be like, wait, how do you already know how to do this? Like, <laughs> You're going to look when, good. When I was 10, this was the thing, uh, you know? Uncle so Doc Rock going to look catalog, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that back catalog stuff is going to be great, but it also allows uh, guys games that probably would have gotten shelved because right. they weren't at that level. You can just throw it on arcade; it's not hurting anybody. Just yep. throw it up there. Yep. Um, th that was smart. And then they solved the conundrum that we've been talking about for well, at least since WWDC about what are you going to do with Apple TV Plus? You only have yeah. a handful of titles. Uh, they, some of them could be hits, but in this very crowded space with Disney coming uh, soon and, and, and all of the other subscription channels like Netflix and Hulu, can Apple carve a hole in there? Do they have enough back catalog? They have none. Do they have good enough shows? None. They have none. Uh, but they, they did the right thing. First of all, the pricing, which was stunning, $4.99 right. a month. Already, you're undercutting every other choice out there. And then they said the thing that I think... <laughs> Maybe you predicted it, home Andy. Run. The home run was a year free when you purchase any Apple device. Apple TV, yep. Apple iPad, Apple phone. I don't know if the watch counts, but uh, you know any, any screen device, iPhone, I iPad, Apple TV. <laughs> That's fantastic. That means basically yeah. for people like us, you know, it's going to be free forever. Unless they change the price. <laughs> yeah, buying stuff, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty so much. $2,000 every two years, yes. Yeah. I mean, we're spending yeah, a lot really more. Free. It's all free. psychological. Free. <laughs> but it's free. I mean, I, I don't. I, as far as I'm concerned, they need to offer something that's fifteen ninety nine. just give me everything. Because I'm that's not paying for that arcade. Say. Most of the games my daughter plays are free. Aquapark IO, all the she play Minecraft's like the only thing that we pay for that like all of her friends are playing on together. They play Roblox. I, I'm not paying four ninety nine yeah. for some backyard games, and then I'm not paying four ninety nine or getting it free. I'm not using your service. You don't have anything on there for me to look at. The music is where it's at. I would like to have the magazines, but again, you're not going to nickel and dime me down because I got to get Disney. I got to scam Netflix. What would you pay? Hulu. I got a lot what of stuff. What would you pay for an Apple bundle that includes arcade, TV, uh, News Plus, and music? To, to, to be regularly 40. fair, honestly, yeah, I was going to say $17.99. You know, would, would $17.99. Well, you're already paying $15.99 for music, so you got to have that's, a little. That's what, well, I'm paying nine ninety nine, and me and my daughter just use it off schedule because if she's using it, I'm using it, it kicks one of us so off. You don't have the family. So I mean, okay. No, no, no. Again, I, 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 that's the thing about with subscription stuff. Like, at some point, you you unbundle TV and stuff to save all this money, and then th there's no way you're saving money anymore, right? Because you're yep. you're paying fifteen dollars, seven dollars, nine, and Apple just on their own, has come out and given you six different options. Right. That makes no sense to me. I, from them, I would not be at all surprised to hear a one price. I don't think it'll be seventeen ninety nine. I think Doc Rocky is right. It's going to be 20 bucks. Uh, and they did family, though, on, t on uh, TV and games, right? Yes, yes. T six, TV six plus person. and games of yes. 
family out of the gate, which is gorgeous. Now what I need to do is take music. You're not going to lose that much money. Just go ahead and make it. 999 is also family out the gate. And somewhere uh, around the next announcement, uh, yeah, the next announcement, give Man, us that. You, you, do the you have the whole party yeah. for 20 bucks. That's a good then, idea. Then yep. everybody's cool. Everyone, because Spotify is kind of messing with them now because Spotify includes Hulu on the premium yeah, price. Right, right. You know, so prior to that, Spotify and Apple it was a good fight. You know, I, I only kept Spotify premium because of the DJ app, you know, allows me to play whatever I want to play whenever I want to play it, you know, and, and while I'm doing mixes and whatnot. But yeah, they have to do that. Apple TV coming November 1st. You get a f one year when you buy an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, an Apple TV, or an iPod Touch. So <laughs> that's, uh, okay, that's pretty good. I wish they would do that with our Arcade as well. That would be kind of cool. Um, yeah. They're, they're going to do some bundles. Scene. Bundles will come, I think. Yeah, they, they got they got to go because this is this really is the there's they, I think they they accept that there's no way they're going to charge they're going to be able to get ten bucks a month for four five six shows not a whole lot and uh, with each, either one of these as good as they are not everybody loved Game of Thrones as big as it was not everybody right. loves the DC stuff as good as it is so uh, I'm wondering what happens a year from now when they now have let's say they now have a kind of something akin to a catalog now that they've got the the movies that they've been buying at the uh, at the festivals now that they've got uh, back inventory that people can binge watch of these TV shows will it be five dollars a month forever or are they ever going to say guess we, guess what we've listened to your requests and now you can get apple arcade and apple tv plus bundled together for only twenty dollars a month like wait huh wait but that instead if of they put music in there it sounds good if, if you put music yeah. in with that and like i said the, the the holy trinity is all the things they offer they offer right. things that people want but i i'm just not going to pay it like i said if you if you had it for 20 bucks and i got magazines my arcade whatever and my music you got me because their TV, let's be honest, their TV is always going to be third to fifth rate citizen. Like as far as I'm concerned, their TV shows are never going to compare to everything else I have available to me. I mean, I can go subscribe to Epix for $5.99 and watch Twins from 1984 and every old movie and TV show I want. So I don't I don't really think that on that level for a long time they're going to be able to compete. But no. everything else they have is really good. You know, the one unknown is if one of these shows becomes a hit, if it becomes a Game of Thrones uh, People have to watch it for it to become a hit. Yeah, that's true. I think that's why you know what, the, then, they're giving you they're giving you what a, a, a seven day trial. That's not very much, is it? Hey, the other thing that's not clear. Maybe you maybe you noticed something. I didn't notice. Are they going to do the HBO model where they release one a week, or are they going to do the Netflix model where they release them all at once? Because I'd prefer the binge model, but. I'm not sure yeah, how they're going to do it. I don't think they said anything about yeah. that. They didn't, they didn't yeah. say. The problem, yeah. the problem with the binge model is that if a show does become hit, you get people signing up that's for right. one month one, just to right. watch the entire series and then canceling it that's for a month. Right. So. Yeah, they probably can't do that because they don't have enough catalog to do that, you'd think. You'd think it'd be better for them to space out since they don't have that much content. If they just throw out everything, to, you know what I mean? Yeah. They just throw everything yeah. to binge. Yeah. You're like, okay, I've watched everything already. I'm done. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You, you got to so. get people into the habit of hitting that app and just to see what's new. So, yeah, that would be a smart thing. Again, there's a lot of old content that's not out yet that's still unstreamable. They need good curators to go get some of these things that are like, you know, sitting on the shelf and dust them off and be like, hey, what if we give you a little money to let us put this in our network? Yep. There's a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that's not out. I mean, an absolute lie. Uh, Where's the Golden Girls? There is yeah. Uh, where's uh, old Batman? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> which which old Batman? You mean Bruce Wayne? The, the one from the sixties. Adam 70s, West. Adam West. Adam yeah. West. And that I would mean, you that's watch what that? I grew up on. I would again, yeah, because I think it'd be funny to see the disparity <laughs> it was between very special campy. effects then, oh, then man. and now. Just watch the compilations yes. on YouTube of them walking up the, the, <laughs> the wall. Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Those are so funny. Yeah, fake walking. Well, it's Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> oh, hi. Jr. <laughs> Hello. I, 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 uh, this is Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I, uh, Gilligan's Island? Gilligan's Island was filmed across the street. I'd watch that again. Uh See, uh, the, the problem, the, I think that the reason why these are hard to find on streaming is because 
they're much better if you remember yeah, how you felt right. as a little kid watching them as yeah. syndication in the 70s and 80s. If you were to watch them today, it's like, oh, wow, this really was garbage. Wow. So I wasn't surprised to see arcade and TV. I was a little surprised to see the iPad. Um, but it was only one model. Now, we know from various uh, d databases in Europe and, uh, and the Middle East that there are at least two or three models in the works. So I think it's pretty clear there is another shoe to drop. There'll be another, I would expect, another Apple event coming in October that will do an iPad Pro, maybe a Mac Pro, maybe that new 16-inch MacBook Pro. So the, all they yeah, announced they, here was the entry level, the replacement for the $329 iPad. A little bit bigger, 10.2-inch screen instead of 9.7, half an inch bigger. It ships September 30th. 329 for the base model, 299 if you're education. It does support the original Apple Pencil. Still has and big the smart bezels. Connector. And the smart, well, yeah, actually, the smart connector is a big deal because you can use a keyboard with that. So this yeah. is a good no. student device. I, I still think this is one of the greatest products that Apple has in the product line. The idea of having a tablet that is this good for 329 bucks, even non-education, where it has a, a remarkably good stylus, uh, a processor, it's the A10 processor, which means that it's really can it, it really can compete with anything uh, in Windows space or Chromebook space that's going for anything less than six or seven hundred dollars. Uh, it's you have to you still have to deal with the co the concept that you don't have a trackpad, you don't have a keyboard, you have to add those things, but in terms of having a 300 for 329 bucks, that's a hell of a lot of protein you get uh, for not a whole hell of a lot of money. So I'm glad to see that Apple's continuing to invest in making this product as good as they can possibly can. And again, the, the, as someone who has always been one of the first to you know throw to be the Debbie Downer about yeah, but Apple's policy is still go be poor someplace else. It's great to see Apple at least acknowledging <laughs> that to be a really great company, they have to be able to create products for just about everybody they're not going to always be there they're, they're, the people with their deep pockets are not always going to be there they have to be able to branch out to sell to all kinds of all kinds of customers all over the world and a 329 dollar tablet of this quality is is definitely up there here here i'm Andy, surprised I the mini price didn't go down yeah the mini price is still 399 right uh this is yeah. a, the 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 329 is a 32 gig model same processor though they didn't upgrade the processor. It's still it's the uh, A10. Um, they didn't. They didn't bring it up in this. But is the uh, Photoshop out for the iPad Pro yet? Not Remember yet. that Photoshop not, not they yet, showed? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, yeah, is, is Minecraft VR out yet? I mean, like they just be telling me all this cool stuff, and then like it's coming at Christmas time <laughs> or whatever, and then we forget about it. Like I said, that that basketball shooting app from the phone. <laughs> what, what happened to that company? Did they fold? Did they run out of money? Like, what happened to that app that they they show us such cool well, stuff? That's and then how many things did we forget Apple's that hand, they had? Oh, again, well, that's why cool, I said did that company fold? Did they go and add money? Like, yeah, Apple so believes them the enough to show. Part. Apple yeah, believes that's them the enough sad to show part them. about putting it in. They got snowballed by whoever said that they were going to have it ready at X time, and I, <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I use Adobe all day every day, and. I'm going to put a small gamble out that in the late October event, when the iPad ah, Pros get refreshed, yes. we'll see Photoshop then. But we also see, you know, the Pro-ish type stuff. Yeah, you wouldn't show it agree. with this device. Well, oh, yeah, no, no, I mean, I'm just saying in general the things they say. Yeah. Yeah, and we still got that uh, probably September 29th because that's on schedule with all other macOS releases. We'll get, you know, Catalina. So they'll talk about that then. But I do have to agree. I feel bad for them if they put their their efforts into believing this company who says they're going to have it ready and they don't have it ready. I don't know if you guys remember when we were trying to build glass in Arizona and Apple put money into uh, yep. I forget the name of the company now, but the company was the, basically the sapphire. Mirrors. The sapphire, sapphire company, yeah, there you yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Sapphire Glass, yeah. and Apple got ganked, and so it's very yeah. possible they got ganked with the basketball AR and all these other stuffs because unfortunately that part's out of their hands. But it does, people will hold them to that. So I wish they would at least update us, maybe. But I think they're just like, oh, we're better not even bring it up. You know, it's <laughs> like when, when they you, talk about when the you did something wrong in the house. Yeah. 
and the machine learning on the device, I just want to know where we're actually going to use it at. I I understand it works right. stronger, better, faster, but I'm like, what what could I do with it? I mean, if if apparently and, these and come, like, what am I going to well, be doing we, with it? Like, yeah, I, I think that they already should. It's not something where there's a feature you switch on or switch off. It really is where a certain app is enhanced in such a huge way that you can't really do it without uh, some sort of machine learning. I think really the the most in, most impressive machine learning app that Apple's been associated with is simply the camera app. Uh, most of what yeah. they're talking about about uh, they're because they're talking about how they are optimized the CPU for all this sort of stuff. The way that they're saying now uh, with this new magical mode that we're we're experimenting with and we don't know when we're going to release it but here's a demo of a guy in a kind of a thick cable knit sweatshirt uh, cable knit sweater to show how well it works <laughs> we're doing pixel by pixel by pixel trying to figure out what should be a texture what should be skin tone what should be this what should be uh, what should be that so it's it's always there it's that secret sauce is that uh, is that extra like cup full of msg that someone throws into the vat that makes it taste better but it's not they don't put msg as part of the ingredients so uh, checking the Apple press release um, about Apple TV Plus, most shows will launch with three episodes. Some will launch with all episodes. So uh, mm. it's going to be a mix uh, of that. And that's, again, November Elephant 1st. Elephant queen. Yeah. Now we're sharing <laughs> the same <laughs> dream. <laughs> You right. know why three is better than one? Because three is just enough to get you, you hooked. hooked to That's a half right. Of weight. <laughs> That's right. right. If you just watch one, you're not necessarily invested. You know, you can go back to your regularly scheduled programming. But if you have three and now you're in, it's like, oh, what is Jennifer Aniston going to say now? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, it's enough to hook you. At launch, most Apple TV Plus series will premiere with three episodes, with one new episode each week, while full seasons of some series will be available. All at once. So that's the official uh, word from Apple. You know, that I was going to ditch after three, but it's implied that we're going to see Steve Carell's nude butt in episode four. So <laughs> I'm staying I've for that for oh, three months. Speaking <laughs> of Steve Carell, Indian Steve Carell, man, that was it. That was so awesome. I, I just, it made me laugh when he came on the stage. That guy, Sarit, uh, he looked like Steve Carell. I didn't even Indian. notice. The, the chip guy. Oh, my God. It was super funny. Oh, <laughs> I was saying to myself, hey, any of Steve Carell's need a drink of water. <laughs> he did. He, was, he needed to clear his throat. He was nervous. Throat. Yeah. He was, he was nervous. A, he was a little nervous. Uh, One thing I will say about Apple TV that has me excited is I'm, I am I know Jason uh, because everybody who I know is each other. Just a joke. Um, but it'd be just it's just cool to see somebody that I, I've known for a while get bigger and He's bigger really and bigger hit. on the world yeah. stage. Yeah. And so two of the top stars – Right now, in the entire planet, are from Hawaii, that's and that's good. Dwayne, Dwayne, Johnson, Dwayne, and Jason. And Jason. When Lamar. I was growing up, we just had Althea, aka Tia Carrera. Yeah, she's still Althea to me. So but how yeah, do you, so how do you run into how do you run into Jason Momoa? Is he just like hanging out at the beach or what? Man, he always goes to the beach. He he cruises around. He, he makes these videos on YouTube. Him and his friends make these little uh, clowny videos on YouTube. He's still a relatively normal guy. He hasn't gotten cocky. And back when I used to go to the gym, we always run into Dwayne at the gym. Nice. I wouldn't want yeah, to work yeah. out next to Dwayne Johnson or Jason yeah, Momoa. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not fit to lip, lift their barbell. Uh, no. I was like, hey, can you put some more plates on there, buddy? I like to cycle in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good line. Oh, wait a minute. My my, my, uh, my uh, girlfriend uh, is on the line. I got to go. Uh, iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro will be available SIM-free and unlocked on day one. This is from 9 to 5 Mac. That's, uh, that's really good. Sometimes the uh, unlocked phones come later, and almost always you get a carrier. You have to choose a carrier and get a SIM in that. So uh, nearly all iPhone models sold at Apple.com and at the App Store are unlocked. That, at the Apple Store are unlocked. They're not tied to a carrier. That that's is, how I do it. That's I'm a big unlocked. change. Yeah, that's a, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh, well, the good part is now you got the card, right? So with the card, you don't really have to do the AT&T Next and all of that stuff because you can control your interest better. Right, right. iOS 13.1 uh, will come out. September 30th. I was thinking would it come out with the new phones, but apparently it's a little bit delayed. iPad OS will also come out September 30th. So 13.0 will drop with the new phones. So that's a little confusing. We've had in yeah. the beta, public beta 13.1 for a while. Right. 12.4.1 so just 13, came out today. 12.4.1? Yeah. Okay. 
So so 13.0 on the 19th, but 13.1 on the 30th? Right. Uh, I guess no reason to wait. Uh, you can do the upgrades and yeah. just a couple of weeks later do the next one. Um, all right. Let's see. Anything else? Well, let's take a break and come back and we should talk watch because uh, I think maybe the biggest Apple Watch announcement ever, at least a feature that almost everybody knew they wanted and Apple finally yep. gave us. But first a word from Epson. I love my Epson EcoTank printers. Got two at home because I, for one, hate it when you're in the middle of a print job and the ink cartridge runs out and you got to go to the store and everything's held up. With the Epson EcoTank printers, they come with a ridiculous amount of ink, enough to print thousands of pages, up to two years of ink in the box. And then when you go back to the store to get more ink in 2021, you get two more years of ink which, with each replacement bottle set, which means I'm not going to be back till 2023. Supersized, easy-to-fill ink tanks mean fewer trips to the store, less frustration to you. Uniquely keyed auto-stop ink bottles mean you can't do it wrong. Never spill a drop. This is, this is stress-free. That's why they say just fill and chill. EcoTank is changing the way people print, and I really have to tip my hat to Epson because they, they said, you know what, there is a better way. We're going to do this for our customers. Get the compact EcoTank printer it's a wireless color all-in-one super tank printer for your home or office, and you can, like Shaq, just fill and chill. Check it out at epson.com slash ecotankleo. Transform the way your home or office prints, and you can do away with out-of-ink frustration. For the best combination of ease and value, turn to the Epson EcoTank printers. Through the end of the month, through September 30th, free overnight shipping when you use the promo code ecotankleo. At checkout, all one word, EcoTank Leo. At checkout for any EcoTank printer. Offer valid, I'm sorry, Doc Rock, within the 48 contiguous states. Exclusions apply subject to availability. Epson, E-P-S-O-N dot com slash EcoTank Leo. EcoTank printers, just fill and chill. Epson, exceed your vision. You can still buy it in Hawaii. You just don't get that free overnight shipping. <laughs> You're probably used to that, right? That happens a lot, I would think. Oh, all the time. I get people say we don't ship international, and I have to ask them how many stars. <laughs> what country do you think how I'm many in? Stars, I say, how many stars in the flag? They go, 50. Why? I go, we're number 50, dummy. Put it in the UPS box or USPS <laughs> Send box. It to me. It's the same price. Send it to me. You're, well, you're Hawaiian. You're not even American. <laughs> like, wait, what? What'd what did you say? Who? What? So, Apple Watch Series 5, and I, I almost thought... You know, we just got the Series 4 last year. Do we really need a Series 5? But there is a critical new feature that, to me, makes all the difference. I never thought they'd do it. Always on display. Hallelujah. What? Yeah, exactly. They, they, so, they're, so they're saying that we. Uh, I was wondering if they were going to wait until like a new display technology uh, came along, uh, but they are using a new type of display. As, as, so uh, they're calling it it's an LTPO display, which means that they can do kind of like what they were doing on the phones. They were they can refresh the screen dynamically. So instead of six, at sixty hertz, they can do it at like one 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 frame per second, like one hertz one cycle, so that it's uh, it's actually only like repainting the screen. Uh, like every basically almost never uh and they've they also said that new uh display driver and new ambient light sensor to also cut things down on that sort of, but yeah that's that's exactly the sort of thing I'm, I'm also glad that they uh they admitted one of the big reasons why people want that which is the ability to just simply sort of side eye your yes. wrist when you're in a conversation with somebody and you don't want them to see that <laughs> you're, checking the you're time, talking about but you Andy. definitely yeah. are checking the time yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah. so <laughs> I, I i i want to read more about how they've implemented it because they said that uh, they they've said at the at the actual release that uh, it's uh, it will support uh, the time and any complications that are on the screen. Uh, but they also mentioned that certain other apps like the fitness app can also be are optimized for the always on display. So when you're doing workouts, you can actually the the always on display will be on the workouts app. So the implication I love is that, that you could see what, you, what your heart, heart rate is. I have to always you yeah. know I'm working out. I always have to raise my watch and then nothing happens and I have to tap it. Um, that's a really great thing. This is actually uh, patent pending uh, for Apple. Apple has the LPTO or LTPO uh, patent, 
So yeah. uh, don't expect this elsewhere, although Apple is not the first smartwatch to have an always on <laughs> display. Um, but it's good. It's not going to, it sounds like it's not going to impact battery life. They said the same, uh, same battery all life day, all day, but they now gave all day a number, which I was pleased to see is 18 hours. Yeah. That's all. That's, <laughs> so, so uh, uh, astronomer friends are going to have to figure out what planet is a day last 18 hours, but, yeah, yeah. but I'll, I'll give it to them. I'll give all it to day. Them. Well, you got to sleep sometime. They're and speaking of sleep, sleep, six hours a day. Speaking of sleep, uh, you won't be wearing your watch to bed just yet. The rumored sleep tracking app did not emerge. You mean the apps that are already in the app store? Well, they're third party apps, but there was a strong rumor that Apple was going to do it themselves. Uh, I know. They're, do you use Do you use sleep tracking on your Apple Watch? I used to uh, when I I use it on a Generation One. I use it on a Generation Two, and now I really I don't use them anymore because. Sleeping like a rock. Before, when I wasn't sleeping very well, I, I yeah. cared about it. But I find that it didn't really. Uh, it, I I have sleep tracking on a variety of devices: rings, watches. <laughs> yeah. There's paddles under my pillow. Yeah, and all it does is tell me I should be tired today, and I don't. I don't need that information. Want to hear that? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I just, I just I got a, a new beauty rest, and it came with the sleep yeah, tracker. That's and what I have. One I thing love that, that made me. Yeah, I love that because I don't have to deal with my phone and my watch or yes. worried about, you know, whether it's not getting go. a proper charge or whatever. Right. And, uh, and Leo's right. They basically emailed me every morning and was like, Donkey, you need more sleep. You're yeah. going to be tired. And oh, you're my old God. Because you, you, got up, you got up to pee twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just well, found out. I didn't look. I only got 49 out of 100 last night. I should be exhausted. <laughs> Quick. That's because you're we you're waiting to see me today. I couldn't wait. I was yeah. so excited. I don't know if this I don't know if this update quality. I don't know if always up. on is good enough to make people run out and buy this though. No, I mean, but uh, it for no. will for me uh, that and the yeah, fact that I can too. now spend hundreds of dollars more on a titanium or thousands ceramic. of dollars more on a ceramic. That's fantastic news. I know. Yeah, the, the, one, I know. the one thing about the way that they put things out, though, and uh, okay, the always on alone wouldn't make me run out to buy a new watch, but the my original red dot is now two years old, and now oh, I'm ready so to you're buy different, a new watch. Yeah, you need a red yeah, ring, I, man. You're, you gotta get you're the... two years out. Two years out, I get any kind of upgrade once you're two generations out. I'm talking about like exactly. I have the four. There's no one reason for me to go get the five. Yep. That like, weirdly they did it. Weirdly, they discontinued. Weirdly, they discontinued the four, but they'll still sell the three. The for, three, yeah, but that's, that's, yeah that's I don't get other, that. That's, because that's they the want other, you no, to buy the that's five. That's another great announcement. The, the fact <laughs> that they've if got you the, had the four, the, you wouldn't need the five. <laughs> that's the why. Fact that they've got, the fact they've got the three, and now the price of the three is one hundred and ninety-nine bucks, is one of the best announcements of Apple Watch the, in that same that, that whole day. Because I've I've always sort of thought that it's it's sort of a disconnect when Apple is saying that look at all the people whose lives we're saving and all the people who's getting healthier <laughs> and the 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 woman who knew to go in immediately for a C-section and the guy who knew immediately that he should go in for the stroke. But we're not willing to do that for anybody who doesn't have at least five hundred dollars to spend on a watch. It's 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 uh but the 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 idea that they can get these features, uh, these benefits to people who, again, are not necessarily in the market for a premium watch or premium smartwatch is great. I can't wait for them to finally decide that perhaps they, perhaps people who use Android phones are worth living. They, they're, they're worth saving that, those lives, too. Uh, maybe it's not mark, good marketing to save the lives of people who don't own iPhones, but perhaps there is a, there is a justification for doing that. But I, I, again, kudos to Apple illusion. for keeping the prices low. That's also optical illusion because the life-saving watch is the four. That's the <laughs> yeah. one with this, that the life-saving well, okay, watch is the four. Gets, the three's not really saving your life like the four <laughs> saves life. Well, it's only $199. I mean, it's really really saving it's what's your life, life worth, you know? Owen? Come on. <laughs> don't be exactly. such a cheapskate. Hey, I need to have no, a compass and always on. <laughs> I'm going to drop this watch that I've had for nine months at $500 and go buy a new one. Okay. Now, no, though, be, okay, you're not going to be. I, I don't. I don't have many friends who can buy like a brand new phone every single year, or or would buy a brand new. Yeah. But for people who have if, an, have a, a series two if, or a series three, almost bought the series worth, four. This will be. They'll be definitely or, the series five. Yeah. I, I think there's also a reasonable case to be made. There's people who haven't bought the Apple Watch yet because it didn't have an always-on display. I don't think there's anybody waiting for a compass. But there, there, it's conceivable that this is in every little nudge. I think Apple's really shown that they're yeah. going to make this better every year. 
maybe not you know life changing better, but better every year, and every little nudge gets more people into the market. It's already the best selling smartwatch. Yeah, I you think know. the one ninety nine well, is going to get everybody into the market. That one ninety nine is going to be that's killer. The key price. I yeah. like the new Apple Design Studio too. In the store and online, uh, you can choose the size you want. You could choose the case you want, and then once you've picked that, you can choose the band you want. And What's the I, most expensive watch? Build it. Shall I build the most it. expensive watch? <laughs> it's, I know it's, it's the most uh, ceramic. Watch. Ceramic. It's the one uh, I'm going to get, is. Owen. Of course, it's the beautiful sport. Well, no, let's not get it with a sport loop. That's no, if you're going to spend twelve hundred ninety nine bucks on a watch. I need an Hermes. Nah, you know, exactly. I really like. I think the most expensive one is that Link band, isn't it? That's a ridiculous band. No, stainless steel bracelet, wouldn't it be? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly. what that's what we call the stainless about, right? steel bracelet. Yeah, Woo, can you get we, that made out of? Uh, can you get that's a, a ceramic bracelet? Band. You need that band. <laughs> it's all white. That's for me, baby. Fifteen ninety nine. That's that Casio band right there, brother. I know. Isn't it funny that this band costs hundreds of dollars? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sixteen ninety nine with Space Black. When it was uh when it was the Chanel ceramic G Shock, they were about two grand wow. for the basic okay. one wow. and five grand if you got it with the ceramic band. So they're they're in the right ballpark for that level of person who's buying that type of thing. I just, yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, $1,000 for a watch for a lot of people is a deal. When uh, I don't even yell about that because I have Movada watches. I have expensive watches. Yeah. If you if you're, if you want to spend the money, go ahead and spend the money. I just meant from upgrading. Like, if you got the three to five, I get it. Four to five, not so much. Well, that's uh, if you want to go so blow $1,500 on a watch, hey, that's Honestly, if you had the iPhone XR, there wouldn't be a lot to say get the 11. No, not at all. And, and, and I think they're starting to realize that before... It was, well, my excuse was always, you know, as a quote unquote tech writer, I had to always buy the new one. Then last my year was the first too. time <laughs> I, I decided to skip it and it didn't bother me. And yeah. now, you know, you know, the, the 10R made me think, oh, maybe I should. It's not that expensive, blah, blah, blah. But then I'm glad I kept it. I, I bought another lens for the camera, camera. There you go. And See? at this point in time, I think, I think every two years, if we can stick to the every two years and everyone's comfortable with it and you don't feel so much uh, FOMA, then yeah. But the suck thing next year is probably going to be a guaranteed buy. Whatever the new form factor is going to cause you to want to jump back in. So you have to eat it like once every four years. <laughs> it, titanium. What is there? So you have aluminum, you have stainless steel, you have titanium, and you have ceramic. Ceramic is an outlier. It's the most expensive, uh, and it's white, which is a little weird. Uh, is the glass different on those higher end models? I think they have is, sapphire versus uh, sapphire glass? versus gorilla glass. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would be the case for buying a titanium? Is it just looks, or is it somehow better? It's lighter. Mm -hmm. It's lighter. Light. Yeah. Although aluminum has to be pretty light. That's what I have right now is an aluminum. I'm gonna, right. I wonder about the durability of titanium. If they're saying, if they're saying that don't, for God's sakes, don't put, uh, don't put your your Apple Card in the same uh, in, in the same uh, wallet <laughs> as something else. It's like, uh, how, how how scratched up is this watch gonna get? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I like titanium watches. I've always had, I've, you know, with, with tr more traditional watches, I've always chosen the titanium or ceramic because I just think those are nice materials. Uh, it is the only coming. Why to get titanium watches? You're a CFN. What's a CFN? Sia, Sia fan. fan. Oh, Sia fan. Yeah. I fan like Sia. Sia. <laughs> I like Sia. I, I ordered mean. three Sia fans on Amazon last week. They're amazing. <laughs> They're made out of titanium. <laughs> they so they the come in like, like half white. That's right. <laughs> you, do, you, do you get the Sia fan that has the HEPA filter built in? <laughs> easy to change. Oh, and clean? No, nothing but the best for Uncle Leo. Nothing but the best. <laughs> I like the, uh, the... It didn't take long before we started getting uh, memes about the new camera look. That is, a, by the way, a massive bump. You're going to want to get a case if you want to lie it flat. But many people noted it looks a lot like a fidget spinner. Fidget spin. It's oh, the right. new fidget spinner camera. Here's a guy. I like that grill. Frying like shrimp. On that thing. Frying all you got to do is make the line. All you need is the green phone on it right now. It's and you be cooking on grandma's <laughs> stove top. Oh, the, the, next, the next guy got me. The next guy got me. It's a coconut go. shell. It's the horizontal oh, coconut. Style, Don't stick a screwdriver in that hole, though, man. A bowling uh, ball? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. That's funny. Yeah. Aliens? There Aliens from Chicken Little. Okay, that's a stretch. 
<laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a bunch of googly eye stickers and put it on the back of my iPhone. That'll scare the hell out you of me. You know, people. iPhone 8 plus a couple of googly eyes, it's going to cost a lot less money than an, <laughs> than an iPhone 11. I'll tell you that. Uh, so the memes are flying fast and furious. Uh, oh, let's talk about you. You started talking about it. Let's talk about the uh, new watch health tracking stuff. So there are three new research studies, including hearing, heart, movement, and cycle tracking. Although with the latest article about how some of these cycle tracking apps send the information, not just about your cycle, but about a lot of other things, including your most recent sexual activity back to Facebook you know, there might be some people thinking twice about uh, about that. Well, well that's that's why Apple was really Apple careful to say about, that we don't. Yes, we don't yeah, tell they, they anybody anything. We don't. We don't. Yeah. We even we don't know this data, so don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah. Uh, do you guys sign up automatically? The heart. Uh, we've had a heart research before. I signed up for it uh, when it was available. Hearing's interesting. I'm not. Yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, especially like seeing how daily sound exposure influences your hearing. It's uh, for uh, that's going to be, I think, expressly good for kids because the, for all all of us on this panel, and we're just too late. We, we we've already damaged like more of our hearing <laughs> that we've realized. Uh, it's when the kids realize that. Oh, by the way, do you realize that? Here, here's what your we, we've we've uh, pulled your favorite track off your iPhone. Here's what it's going to sound like if you keep going through things like what you put yourself through yesterday i was like <laughs> that'll get the kids to, even, to buy even your with that even with that your kids are always wearing headphones so the watch is going to pick it up the loudest places that people will get like are sporting events like oh, yeah. you know when they've had people's heart rates get alerted like the one guy during the super bowl his watch started like trying to help him you <laughs> mean that like eagles that. fan <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> or like if you're in a if you're in an industrial work environment in which case you should know that it's loud you should be wearing headphones anyway yeah. there's certain places where that that could be uh useful i guess Young yeah, just, just collecting data, I think, is, is such a huge thing, uh, especially for especially the data that, that could be collected from women specifically, because women are underrepresented in studies. Yes. Most of the science that had been built up for 100 years was based on let's let's remove the idea of pregnancy and a menstrual cycle because we'll so we'll only like uh, observe men uh, for to figure out how uh, neurological. Wasn't systems that work. shocking? Is that women are just men, but with that extra stuff, and and we don't have to do any medical research on that. The extra stuff and, just confuses the results. Right. And the other thing we're just going to watch too. Oh, sorry. And a but, fertility watch costs like 400 bucks. Really? They're not cheap. Oh, I know oh, that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, I have a friend who just got one because they're trying to have a baby. I was like, "Oh, what's that? Is it a Fitbit?" She's like, "No, it's a fertility watch." I'm like, "Oh, wow, what was that?" She's like, "It was like three seventy-five. I'm like, "Whoa, <laughs> what does this thing do?" And it basically tracks her cycle and all that kind of stuff. It tells you, you know, when you should try to make when a baby. Should, I'm yeah, like, yeah, when you're ovulating and yeah, yeah. Pre premium I, market. I don't know so Apple's if, got um, another winner right there. Go ahead, Doc Rock. I don't know if the research app will answer these questions too, but another uh, group of people who are underrepresented in uh, health studies are people of color. So yep. if in their health there is a checkbox for ethnicity, then that can you know help out those of us melanin enhanced folks. So you guys will all do it, right? I mean, I think everybody would do it. I, I do it. Yeah. I do it. Is it? Uh, I mean, it's good for Apple. It's good for PR. Uh, I guess it's valuable for the for the medical community and the research community. So, it's a win all around. Yeah, you know, I think this this really does move them as a company. It really is the, the sort of thing that when they talk the talk, this is them walking the walk about their responsibility to make life better for all humans everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and also, this is uh, really what this is. The Apple Watch is one of the most impressive product turnarounds I've ever seen. It went from the one of the most confused, let's just build a watch and then figure it out later uh, product launches, uh, middling for about a year, year and a half. But when they finally figured out that we can make something Thing that is so that is hyper 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 focused on fitness and it also has apps uh, apps uh, that will uh, that will do other things as well notifications fine but this is all going to be a health focused device that you, you really have to have a target to drive towards to really find that uh, to, to grit, get towards excellence and now that they figured out that no this is a health this is not this is not just a, a fitness device this is a health device they keep prosecuting that idea of harder and harder and harder with each iteration and you can see the amount of uh, uh uh, the, the the amount of excitement that it drives for them inside, I think. All yes. right, ladies. Uh, I mean, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ladies. All right, ladies. Let's take a break. Uh, unless you, I'll give you one last chance. Anything you saw today during the event that you yes. thought? 
Yes, because, go ahead, Dr. Because Rock. you said it, and that was not a Laportean slip. That was actually real. Today, on the diversity tip, Apple had a bunch of ladies Boy, presenting today, and I give yeah. much, much kudos to that. And it didn't seem like they were just doing it to get that. These people are really doing these jobs. So kudos to them for that. Absolutely. Did not look yeah. like your typical Silicon Valley company. It looked like a true, diverse yeah company and yeah whether that's true or not in the ranks i don't know but it's a really great thing to see that on stage pa parenthetically i would add to that i would love to see them make sure that they caption every time that uh, that someone appears on the stage with their actual name because not everybody knows oh and now let's let's bring chudy up st uh, on stage to talk about this feature it, deep 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 insiders know who this person is but the rest of the world who might want to know oh this person really seemed to have a lot to lot to say who is this person uh, give, okay give me the full name and let me check it out. i'm the cynic I'm, I'm, my I'm cynical thought is the reason he didn't say last names is he didn't want us googling and finding out that she's the intern uh <laughs> and you know that they really had to dig deep to find a female of color to represent it uh i don't know but i, I agree with you andy i want to see the full name and know what her title is go ahead uh, owen oh no I, i'm just googling parathetically i'm just trying to educate myself <laughs> andy i hear andy i hear dropping bombs and stuff i'm trying to catch up you know what i'm saying and, uh parenthetically okay i got it. let's continue and, 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 let's get back always a man idea. of the people owen except I don't think he's really a man of the people. I think he just plays one on TV. I think actually, hey. Owen, you're living in a solid gold house, driving. Let me, let, <laughs> you know, you know, my lifestyle is like my, the, my lifestyle is like Halliburton Empire. He's driving a Maybach. My lifestyle is like Life of the Walking Dead, like the Living the Walking Dead. I, I just throw some blood on myself and I walk with the zombie so I don't get ate. But that's all I'm saying. You sitting up there in that bubble, people always he, he trying to pop that bubble. He smells like he's dead. Down. down here on regular, <laughs> regular ground, I, I can live for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to view the people. <laughs> Man of the Man people. <laughs> and my people all say your people should stay <laughs> where you are. Uh, our show is brought to you by... He's more of a Bugatti guy, they say. All right. No Maybach <laughs> for you, my friend. Uh, parenthetically, I say that. Our sh get your... Uh, anything else? Any other thing, Owen? Anything you saw on a stage we didn't uh, talk about? Uh, no pen? Uh, I, I, no... Uh, I, I just I got bashed on on some DMs. People are so mad at me talking about don't buy Apple. First of all, I just like to talk about the things that they say are not always hyped up the way they are. I buy Apple stuff. I'm addicted to Apple. Ask me which version of the phone I'm going to buy. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I'm going to get <laughs> No, but you like to puncture the reality music. distortion field whenever yeah, possible. Yeah, That's yeah, why we I, like having you on. What's good is great, and what's uh, the same thing, like I said, I can throw cookies and stuff that they want to tell me that they invented always on screens, but I can't get it on the phone. I mean, this little thing. But, you know, it's all good. That's it. We're happy. Apple Day. But <laughs> but but I think Pixel 4 is going to be something to watch for as well, isn't it? I mean... Uh, I, I believe in the... I, I believe in the Pixel camera. I would again. I, I want to see what this night sight looks like. I can't call it called night mode. They call it night mode. Looks like on the iPhone uh, because night sight is amazing. The camera on the Pixel is just phenomenal, top to bottom. Right. Video not so much, but the camera is phenomenal. We have already even on the cheaper version. Mike on the three A. Uh, we've already decided. Uh, Aunt Pruitt and I are going to be. Uh, uh, it's going to be Aunt and Leo at CES this year. We're going to do it completely gorilla style. With a phone, and we haven't decided yet if it's going to be the Pixel 4 or the iPhone 11 Max Pro Max Pro. You can uh, only record 19 people on the 11 Pro Max 1177. <laughs> I have so. to figure it. I have <laughs> to figure it out. But we're going to do extensive testing before January, and then whatever that is, that's what we're going to carry, and we're going to go around and shoot CES booth by booth. Uh, little short segments, and we're going to do it on one of those two devices. I, I have a feeling right now it's going to be the iPhone. But uh, we have to see what the Pixel has next month. Uh, let's take a break. And then if you want, some picks of the week. But first, a word from LastPass. We're big LastPass fans here. As you know, uh, I've been a LastPass user for, well, since, since it first came out, I think 10 years. We, uh, we got Joe Segrist, the guy who uh, created it, to talk with uh, Steve Gibson, our security guru, Steve got a look at the source code, how it's done, and he gave it his absolute seal of approval. In fact, Steve started using LastPass at that point. Uh, there was a, a kind of a, a critical moment in Twit's history when one of our engineers put all of his passwords online in a public website when we realized, you know, we better use LastPass at work, too. We started using LastPass Enterprise. So 
LastPass for us is a critical tool. It is a password vault that you could put anything in, anything that you want to keep secure. It's encrypted everywhere except on your device. And boy, every device, Android, iOS, I use it on Linux. It works in every browser. It works on Mac and Windows. And that means I can use LastPass everywhere. In fact, LastPass is the first thing I install when I'm setting up a new device, whether it's a tablet, a phone, or a computer. I'm a huge LastPass fan. We use LastPass Enterprise at work because, after all, at work we've got to give the keys to the kingdom to our employees, bank accounts, websites, databases. They have all that. And so I want to make sure we do it in a way that's completely secure. LastPass guarantees that. And, and they're not sitting on their laurels by any means. They just set up an expanded business lineup with some amazing features that does something that's almost impossible in security. It improves security and it improves convenience. No, it's true. LastPass Enterprise now includes single sign-on. And, and they started with 1,200-plus SAML integrated apps each with its own getting started guide so it's easy for your employees to get up to speed. They'll love single sign-on because they don't have to have a password. On their phone, it says, is this you logging in? You press OK and you're in. That's more convenient for them and more secure for you. Plus, as as an IT professional managing a LastPass install at your enterprise, you get all the data, all the information. Who's using what? Who's logged in right now? You completely control it. Granular control with IT and frictionless access to uh, users. That's just, it's like the holy grail. There's also, along with LastPass Enterprise and, and these SAML apps, there's also LastPass MFA. Not, not two-factor, multi-factor. So it, it also adds biometrics like fingerprint and face, contextual factors like location and IP address to make sure that you are who you say you are. Authentication plus. That's really important. They combine the two. LastPass Enterprise and LastPass MFA into LastPass Identity. From single sign-on and password management to adaptive authentication, LastPass gives you absolute control, gives your users what they're looking for, total convenience, all in one simple, secure solution. You just got to love it. No wonder it's the number one most preferred password manager at home and at work. And I put everything in there. I trust it so much. I put all my important documents and my passports are in there. When I travel... You know, they always say keep a copy of your passport, but I don't actually Xerox it and put it in my suitcase. I actually have it on my phone with, with the LastPass. So it's secure there, but I have access to it. If anything should happen to my passport, I also keep social security numbers, drivers, licenses. And if you do online shopping, the autofill features of LastPass are fantastic. Not just login and passwords, but it'll, it'll also keep your credit cards and you can autofill them that way. It is the easiest possible checkout process and you don't have to open your wallet. LastPass is the password manager. You need it. Your business needs it from authentication to access to passwords. Let LastPass manage every entry point to your business. Mitigate risk, improve productivity. LastPass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. LastPass.com slash twit. And don't forget, we're going to be doing a special event in Boston with LastPass on October 3rd. Steve Gibson, LastPass's CISO, Jerry Buchholt, and the legendary Bill Cheswick, uh, one of the great security guys of all time, he invented the firewall at Bell Labs, and he's written extensively on passwords and why passwords are, are have got to die. We're going to talk about that, the future of authentication. It's a free event. If you're going to be in Boston October 3rd, go to twit.to slash unlocked, twit.to slash unlocked, and get your ticket. We've expanded the venue now twice because we want to make sure everybody gets in. Not only is it free, but LastPass is making this a, a benefit so you'll get a $100 token to donate to one of three chosen uh, charities, uh, the charity of your choice. You'll get to do that at the event. So it's a great cause, and it's a great thing to go to, and I would love to see you there. Twit.to slash unlocked. Of course, you got to be in Boston on October 3rd. We will be recording it, and we'll put it out as a, uh, as a Twit special. So uh, you'll get to see it after the fact. But if you're in town, come. It's going to start at 345 in the afternoon, uh, and there will be a cocktail hour where you'll get to meet and talk to our... Uh, panelists and and me as well uh, afterwards so it's gonna be a lot of fun uh let's get some picks of the week now doc rock i don't know if you are prepared if there's anything you'd like to I'm pick always prepared what would you what are you what I'm are you hot prepared. for these days <laughs> okay so um i've been sitting on this until we knew exactly what was going to happen with the phone but now i know what's going to happen with the phone i'm ready for this i want to talk about the osmo mobile 3 this is the latest rendition of the gimbal. I'm going to go ahead and pop the link in the chat. I love quick. our Osmo. Um, we love it. It is fantastic. 
I yeah, had, I had the one, and then I played with the two, and then I went to drones, and I got my Osmo Pocket, which I also love. But knowing that this phone is going to have this incredible video support, oh the boy. cool thing about the three, and I'm going to Hokkaido next month, so I'll get to test it out oh, nice. right away. I love the fact that it folds so small, and it's it has like these really cool... Um, sort of built-in cinema robotic moves for people who don't know how to do this stuff, like with the special transitions and stuff that folks like me like to use. You have built-in uh, sort of uh, camera moves. You know what I mean? Like you can do the motion lapse, the hyperlapse, the wave at it in order to take a picture. Um, it does the little barrel rolls like you're looking at right now. Oh, nice. Um, you, you know what I mean? That stuff you don't have to know how to do. I know how to do it. Because I spent years figuring this out, but now regular folks can do this. And I have literally watched the way people's video game have up, you know, leveled up since people started using these little phone gimbals. And the epic part about this is it's 119 if you just want the basic fellow. Uh, there is a bundle that gets you a little extra accoutrement that's like 139 but it's not even a pocketbook breaker that's a really good you know price I mean? boy a lot less than i it's paid a, it, for the last one yeah right the original one i think i started out at like 240 yeah and and it's gone down since but man what an, an amazing device incredible battery life i love the active track feature so like you sit it down and as i go like this and like such it the camera stays you. with you nice you know stuff like that is going to be great so there's no reason to have you know ten thousand dollar vacation with crappy footage so you might as well get yourself an Osmo Pocket, slap on your new iPhone, iPhone Pro or, you know, uh, Pro Max or Pixel, whatever you got, and get, you know, really, really good footage now. Really cool. Good pick. Uh, somebody you. has my Osmo Mobile. I wonder who. Wonder it's it's me. It's, it's, <laughs> I, no. I got, no, no, no. I got, I got a video to send Carson. Oh, good. You did the review. Good. I, I did the review. I did all the review. Right. <laughs> it's actually on sale now, and I, all the all the I, all the accessories are out. And it's sad because it's going to sound like a horrible, horrible DJI moment, but uh, I was going to buy the DJI Ronin SC. Yeah. And then they were having problems with the iPhone because the field of view on the camera was, wasn't as wide as yeah. the samsung's yeah now with this new lens the setup with the ronin actually uses your phone as the active track on your dslr or mirrorless camera so you can set it up where it syncs with your camera so now when i use my wide angled lenses the phone will actually be able to keep up with my with my mirrorless camera so i'm going to order the ronin Ooh. sc today how much is and that I'm though going that's to, gonna set you back it's 439 uh, yeah. and i've 430. already got you're not gonna get the bigger one you're not gonna get the motion one for 529 539 come on Owen. So I, well, that, okay so what the difference with that one is is i personally am not skilled enough uh to roll my focuses that's what that does. It gives you the focus ring. That's what comes with the pro version uh, versus not the pro yeah, version. Yeah. Everything else is the same, but the the focus ring. I'm not skilled enough to even use it. I have a Ronin M, and I never use the focus ring on that, so I'm not going to waste the money on this. And I'm I'm trying to downscale because I'm not as strong as I want to be in my mind. I, I look at the rock, but I ain't the rock. So the SC is lighter, <laughs> and with the camera edition, with the active track, I could set it up and use it like I use the Osmo Pocket. And now I, instead of using it just for B-roll, I could use it with my uh, Canon R uh, EOS R, so yeah, yeah. I'm I'm super excited because these, the, these the field of view with the iPhone was smaller. So when I use a wide angle lens, apparently people were saying the active track wouldn't sync with the iPhone. You'd have to use a Samsung, but now I can get an iPhone and it'll work. So so just to uh, for people wondering what are all these things? They're what we call gimbals. They're motion stabilizers. They you just hold them and they automatically stabilize the motion on your uh, phone or your camera. The the Osmos are for uh, uh, ca camera phones, and the Ronins, I guess, are for SLRs. Or actually, probably more mirrorless. I don't mirrorless. Yeah, yeah. it has a mirrorless version and a DSLR version. Oh, there is big SC enough. SC is for mirrorless. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, and Leo, if you're going to get a Ronin, you don't have to get the extra one with the the focus ring yeah. because our new Sony camera focuses faster than anything in the world, so we don't need that. Oh, this would be good for that new uh, that new Alpha Seven yeah, R. Exactly what I was buying the SE for. <laughs> you, you, you alpha bears. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a pick, Owen? 
Uh, that the the Ronan SC was going to be my pick. Good pick. Yeah, like I said, it it's DJI like a DJI day. Yeah, it's DJI commercial. DJI day. Today. You know, I can't buy any more uh, uh, drones. I've been I've been uh, cut off, so I'll have to buy well, something else. <laughs> you, you have a you have a you have a drone connoisseur. Uh, I'm going to have a cousin Ant teach you how to fly. Oh yeah, I'm going to put Aunt, you through the fly Aunt course. Knows. He's going he's gonna to take you out step by step, week by week, get uh, you up. We're going to start with the little $99 one. We're going to get you back up to fly aircraft I, I thought I was being, you know, I was with gonna... the drone father, uh, Father Robert Ballas there, who is the king. And he trained me. Apparently not good enough. Uh, I dunked yeah, my need, Mavic. We need a new teacher. That we I we got to dumb teacher. it down and start over get again. Ant, That's what we got. Get this time. Yeah. All right. Dumb it down. That's it. Break <laughs> it down. Start over. Build it up from scratch. Andy and not go. Pick of the week. Uh oh, Andy's muted. Andy, unmute. Press the magic twanger. There you go. There. Uh, very, very quick pick. I got a. Uh, I, I found a, uh, a music player last week uh, that is focused on albums, and it has the oh. worst title ever. Because if you look for it, you will never find it. It's called Albums, <laughs> Album Focused Player by Adam Linder. Uh, it's a really, really simple player. All it, but it, the feature that it has that has made me start playing with it and liking it is that it really is focused on playing whole albums. That's one of the uh, one of the limitations I think of. Almost Almost every single player that I've ever seen is that what if you like to listen to whole albums from start to finish? Uh, it lets you shuffle albums, lets you play albums like as entire units without having to specify. No, no, no. Please don't just add this to a playlist and then start going. Uh, it will also uh, uh, automatically pull down like all the album info from Discogs. Oh, so if you've got uh, so if you want to know like production info without having to like hit Wikipedia, uh, it'll just pull all that stuff down. Um, it's three bucks, uh, but I, it's it's a Definitely an independent production, and I really want a. I like it for again listening to my my collection as whole albums. It works with Apple Music as well with your own uh, uh, your own uh, uh, audio files putting in there. Uh, I hope that he continues to work on it and continues to improve it because that is one of the areas that I don't think that any music player right now does a really good job with. Again, it's all one of my biggest frustrations about iTunes, and one of the reasons why I sort of moved away from it is that it does doesn't understand that if I put like if I've got one track from a certain album because I just like that one song I really don't need to have that listed amongst like all the albums that I have allow me to allow me to look at my collection as here's a collection of complete albums where you get track one to track 11 not the ones that has only the three favorite songs from uh from Abbey Road give me let, don't let me ex accidentally play that let me play the entire album as it is uh, and so this is I hope uh attention being paid to people who want to listen to track one through track 11 side a to side b all right here's one C question that would put uh, by the way at 2.99 i'm gonna buy it no matter what but it would be really cool if i could play dark side of the moon exactly <laughs> you know without the gap but exactly as it's not overlapping either crossfades not what i want i want it exactly as it sounds on the uh on the lp I, I I, I think for the the ultimate experience, it would have to use uh, location to figure out: Are you in a state where you can buy the substances that you need, and also to time it so that okay, take one puff now, and then don't don't take any more. But okay, another hit right now, right now, right now. Or when when, when to start the Wizard of Oz? Show. That would be the other yeah. thing. Does it play uh, gapless? Uh, kind of like assembling the album as as uh, Ooh, as designed. I have not I have not tried it yet. It's all right. I'm going to buy it anyway because it's. I mean, this is clearly the right thing to do. This is a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Again, Much for, again for, exactly. This is why I have two. I have separate music players. I have one music player that's really for streaming services, and then another self-contained music player just for my entire collection of albums because it's so confusing and so disappointing uh, to do it otherwise. Mm -hmm. This is one thing that I really wish that iTunes would do better. Because it doesn't do it at all right now. Two dollars ninety nine cents. Adam Linder. Maybe if you search for Adam Linder, you'd be more likely That's to find it. Better. <laughs> I guess, thank, thank God. Thank God that I bookmarked the actual link to the to the store uh, in my notes app because I, I was spending five minutes while we were in the. I was spending all the time with the commercials saying no, no, not photo albums, no, not oh, music Lord. albums that have tracks. Like again, please at, le at least like make it like A L B M Z or something. Just you gotta you gotta nineteen nineties the the these names up if you want people to find them. We didn't, we didn't talk about it, uh, but the New York Times did an expose on the App Store search uh, last, yesterday that showed how, at least in the past, Apple really put all of its apps, <laughs> no matter what you searched for at the top of the search. Apple said, we're not going to do that anymore. So, uh, But it was a, it was a really uh, interesting article. Yeah, good for them. 
uh, they showed uh, in this first example on the uh, on the article online, if you search for podcast, you'd find pretty much every Apple app, not just their podcast app, but every Apple app. Uh, <laughs> and then it starts showing you other companies' podcast apps. Compass? What? Why? That has nothing to do with podcasts. <laughs> Tips? The Watch app? And then, finally, you get Pocket Casts and the others. So that... that <laughs> That clearly had to be fixed, and I think Apple did announce that they were going to fix that after the article. Came. At least, at least when Apple has a scandal, it's a, it's one of these gentle scandals where you're like, "Oh, wasn't that <laughs> naughty of them?" Naughty. As opposed to, "Why isn't there a law preventing this?" Yeah. <laughs> What's the class action suit? Yes. Following that article and in the Wall Street Journal, uh, Apple found <laughs> that the App Store was deciding to show a lot of Apple apps for common search terms. So what do you uh, know? What do you know? So Phil Schiller and Eddie Q had told the Times. We we're going to adjust the App Store algorithm to handicap our apps from appearing too much in search results. It was just an accident. These things happen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. And I really want to spend a little time thanking uh, Doc Rock for uh, joining us from Hawaii. It's great to have you. DocRockTips.com. He's Doc Rock, D O C R O C K, on Twitter. And, of course, can sh really should uh, watch his YouTube videos. Lots of great reviews, lots of great stuff. I hope you'll come back soon. We uh, enjoyed having you on. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I can't wait to make it back to Petaluma. As they say on Hawaiian Airlines, mahalo and aloha. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. <laughs> you did good. You did good. <laughs> Meli Kalikimaka. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doc Rock. Oh, and J.J. Stone. I think you're making your debut on, uh, on uh, Mac Break Weekly. You're a regular course on Twit. We love having you on. But we realized it that is. we needed two doctors this time because because <laughs> Leo's well, Apple Watch was saying a heart attack is imminent. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so uh, first of all, uh, shout out to the chat room. Like I said, I love you guys. Hello, chat room. I'm rocking an EOSR. Don't let them, don't let these alpha boys tell you different. Uh, Can of color is the <laughs> jam. Uh, so. Um, I got I got a slip in filter. Can hey, so um, Sony don't got none of that. They don't don't buy Sony. Get a Canon. Save your life. Uh, <laughs> but you do have all, the mirrorless. Uh, That's good. I, I do have the mirrorless. Yeah. Uh, do a great podcast with my daughter, Raising a Ninja, and I just started doing IQMZ Tech again. So I'll be talking crazy tech like oh, uh, I do with Uncle Leo. Nice. So if you want to hear my tech stuff, go find me on Twitter <laughs> at Odoctor. Because if anybody uses that. Or, IQMC.com is where all my stuff's at. I love you guys. Thanks for having me. O-H-D-O-C-T-A-H is Owen, J.J. Stone. And uh, honorary PhD, Andy Anako. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anako.com. When will you be on WGBH this week? Uh, unfortunately, the mayor of both the mayor is going to be on the mayor. In, in, a long, in a long Q and A on Friday, so I'm off this Friday, but I'll be on next Friday uh, at one o'clock nice. uh, at non WGPH or do, go to WGPHnews.org to stream it live or catch it later. Awesome! Thank you all for joining us. We do Mac Break Weekly. Uh, we were a little late today because of that thing Apple was doing this morning. I don't know what that was, uh, but normally we'll be on around 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's 1700 UTC every Tuesday. Uh, you can catch us uh, live if you uh, have the uh, interest at twit.tv slash live. Audio and videos there. If you are watching live, by all means, join us in the chat room, irc.twit.tv. On-demand versions of the show available on the website, twit.tv slash mbw, and wherever you get your favorite podcasts. In fact, subscribe. That's the best way to make sure you get every episode the minute it's available. We have a subscription page or just go into Pocket Casts or Alpha, Apple Podcasts or Google or whatever. And search for Mac Break Weekly. You'll find us right there. We've been doing this for a little while. I think we've made it to all the indexes. <sighs> now it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us. Get back to work, because break time is over. Bye-bye.